Stop talking shit. The J Two Podcast. Here we go. There we go. Anyways, so what are you saying? Your, your shit is kind of just like. You have well, more yeah. space in us for sure. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So we have like the whole living room. So I didn't know. I mean, I should have probably just asked or whatnot. Yeah, but, true. Um, to yeah, yeah. yeah. To but you know what though? It's actually better this way in a sense because she has her own thing. This is her thing right here. Right, right, right. These table talk. So you can bring her on as that. And yeah, yeah. Kind of. Well, that's why. Like that. And I meant, you know, obviously no disrespect to you or Udi, but when I yeah. messaged her, like it was for that specifically. Like I was like her. See, not her as own like entity yeah, exactly. Yeah. But so, I definitely yeah. understand. You know, she's part of your shit too. So. Yeah, she is. Yeah, she's the, like the woman it. aspect of it. And I and I would have definitely brought her on if anything. But mm. I do know she has her own thing, so I don't want to bring put too much on her on our true. True. So we help. We all help each other out. Like we're pretty much like doing this in house. Like any podcast, we had another podcast that was fucking with, that was doing it, but they stopped doing it. it was a pregame podcast with Wole, but I don't know what's going on with him. But we kind of try to all help each other. You know what I mean? It's like it's a small world. World in a sense, like it's here. growing though. It's growing like crazy. It's definitely growing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, anyways, cheers, Yo. guys. Yo, we got. Anyways, why wow, we didn't do any kind of intro? We, so we're still weird. a little, uh, <laughs> no, 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 you r- a little rusty with that. What's up, everybody? It's fucking. I see. This is not natural to me. I don't intro. <laughs> but anyways, we got our, our boy Freddie here. We wanted the two yeah. stupid dogs, but uh, yeah, man, we got one stupid dog. We got one stupid <laughs> one dog. One dumbass Udi's, dog. Udi's down. <laughs> My man Udi's down with uh. Coronavirus. coronavirus. So we'll pull one out for you, bro. Man, that is crazy. You seen that? No, nah, I haven't seen it, man. Like, I did. Such a natural reaction from you too. <laughs> Have y'all heard about that coronavirus? <laughs> that coronavirus, man. Bro, it's really no joke. I mean, I literally came from like the minute clinic in CVS, and like even the doctor was like, you Wait, know, "You're sick too, bro." Yeah, but it's just a cold. Just a cold. You sure? Yeah, yeah. Nah. Yo, I went. I okay, went to make that's sure. That's information that we should need. <laughs> He's like, just a cold. Just I just a need a little I mean, you might want to sanitize this mic after, but, you know. <laughs> We've never sanitized that actual mic. Oh, so we it's probably got mad <laughs> fucking infections and Has fucking there been HIV. cases in uh, America? Like, how, how are we doing in uh, America? I know for sure that there are people that are, like, quarantined, getting checked out and shit. Yo, the, I, I've, I've done some reading, though, that the coronavirus is not much different than the flu at all. Yeah. yeah. And the, well, the so, flu kills way more people than the coronavirus also. For it's, sure. Like, a lot more. I think I uh, and double check for me, but I think the corona uh, the flu kills like eight hundred k a year, mm. and so far like twenty something hundred to twenty two hundred so, have died from the coronavirus. Right. So from the article you sent me, it's pretty much like it's a, about like six hundred and something thousand die a year, and then sixty one in the U S. die from the oh, flu. Said, you guys got a notification 000. when I updated the. I got it. I saw the link bro. and everything. See? So this I same one right here. That'd be nice. No, that's what oh, that's shit. what we're gonna do for you too. Yeah. So when oh, come shit, on. Man, so I'm it's official. <laughs> but um, from reading it though i i agree man i mean i i personally feel like it's um the coronavirus isn't that much more isn't much more different than the flu the problem is is that the coronavirus is new they don't have any vaccines they don't have anything for it you get your flu shot every year no i don't actually bro me neither i haven't had the flu in fucking 10 i had it once in the last five years and it was like all right bro my body fought that shit off in like five days. Yeah, not even like three days. So you got a good immune system. It's probably because of the you know the whiskey. You know, <laughs> yo maybe. And I, yo, and I'm like fucking bro. I'm not that guy. If I drop food, I pick it up and eat it. Obviously, right? <laughs> yeah, obviously. I'm not wasting no food. Hell, you know? I ain't wasting shit. You know, like I'm not like I don't know. I actually maybe. had the flu like at on, on January. Yeah, yeah that's last month. No, it was it was pretty brutal too. You know, yeah. it's crazy. It seems like. Every couple of years, there's always some type of sickness that is supposed Yo. to be the the next that, like doomsday. And so is this fucking Chinese man. We had SARS, we got the coronavirus, dude. Flu, and Davies, I did a fucking uh, uh, a thing for biology for the, I love for Chinese SARS. People, by the way, <laughs> oh, Chinese food. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> <laughs> no, I did like a project on SARS, and that shit was no joke. That was no joke. That was, that was no fucking like, joke. But it didn't hit the from? U.S. Was that China too. Remember anthrax? It's Yo. all coming from China, bro. Anthrax it was like a, it's like Middle, a powder. Yeah, that was like it's not Middle a disease. It's like a poison. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Nice. It still probably came from China though. If yeah. I could guess, <laughs> probably. Well, that that's shit that they a lot of the You go to a casino, they're up on the side of you, coughing yeah. on you at the blackjack table. You gotta bro. be careful, man. But they all got the mask though, like you know what I mean. Yo, coughing, that's, no that's poker chips dude. flying. The whole country is fucking just. Oh, you're actually talking about. They're in twin right now with sick right now. Just fucking everything. You gotta wear a mask. You just can't go anywhere. Like don't. Come on. Yo, what's crazy, right? So I was at CVS and it was like these two, two Asian people and they had the mask and like I looked at them and they looked at me and I had one too because I just got out the clinic. Yeah. And I was like, okay, they, I looked at them weird and they looked at me weird and I was like, okay, then I want to face you just to grab a smoothie. Dude, with the mask? Every, yeah, with the mask. Just to see. You got dude. some confidence. <laughs> I didn't give a fuck, but 
it was crazy to see people like I trip out. Yeah. yeah like, fuck, <laughs> what are you having yeah, a mask for? Dude, Dude, that's the point. Protect. Me. What if I'm, you know what if I'm protecting myself from you? I don't know what you got. Stay house, bro. You know how sick you have to be to have a fucking mask when you walk? You know, I I went to uh, I get, if the doctor puts a mask on before they touch me, I get yeah, weird, man. Yeah, yeah. come on, walk in, like I'm good. <laughs> I was in Chicago uh, the other. Uh, it was like about a month ago. I went, and it's an international airport out there, so you get a lot of Chinese coming in yeah. through there, and they all have those masks. And what was crazy to me is they had like Nikes on the mask or get Supreme the on the mask. No, like, they no wear joke. it so much that it's become like a. A status. It's thing. a fashion statement. Yeah, well, yo, everybody wild. wears it out there. Let so me, yo, it's like, yo, find, you, you, please find somebody with a Gucci yep. flu mask. For <laughs> Gucci, me, but you know why they Gucci do, SARS mask. But you know why they have it though, because um, because our engineer, sick. no, that yeah, I guess, but also our um, our engineer DJ Sure Live, he actually went to China yeah. and he found out the reason why they wear it so much because the smog in China is so bad. Yeah. Oh, they just don't want to breathe that shit they in. They don't want to breathe that shit in. So it's now crazy. it's so crazy that they wear it literally just to go outside. But now kids are just making it a fashion statement. You know is that saying? made by uh, Nike? Nike Fly Knit Air oh, Pollution. That's definitely made oh, that's definitely Oh, that's, yeah, that bro. is. Look at the quality on that. <laughs> Woo! Yo, that Gucci! <laughs> Nobody's walking around with that fucking Gucci's at Monsters Inc. Yeah. That shit is gangster. Look at they got that vape. Bathe in ape. Dude, uh, is that a mask with a with a, fa- with a like face, face on, on it? Yeah, that's yeah. trippy. You could just become a better looking person. <laughs> <laughs> you could be black. Right? You got the black mustache yep. mask. Oh, my God. It's like the lace chips. You got the fucking mouth on it. For the people listening, do yourself a favor. Google fuck. What'd you Google for that? Designer respirator. Designer respirator. <laughs> You'll enjoy that shit. Designer face masks. That's I heard the uh, the doctor who came to light, and correct me if I'm wrong, but the guy who brought the coronavirus to light, he uh, was he passed away or was found yeah. dead. Six years old. Yeah. Woo. How does no. that happen? I, <laughs> I mean, he found out about it. He found out the hard way. Yeah. 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 I, I also read, too, that it's overhyped because most of the people that died from it um, we're already in poor health, which is usually the case with like people that die from the flu mm. that have weak immune systems. You know, a lot of times it's really yeah, young bro. babies that don't have developed systems yet, yeah, or like old people that yeah. any any sickness is probably going to take them out. So I don't know. You know, I, I try not to sound like a conspiracy theorist, but a lot of times when these yeah. like mass sicknesses and all these things happen, it, it feels like it's just trying to distract us from. Right. The fact that Bernie Sanders is like shutting shit down. <laughs> <laughs> but also, y'all, I'm not even gonna lie though. I think like this shit was done on purpose, man. Like low key because yeah. of the simple fact that yo, China has so many fucking population people. control, bro. Yeah. Population control. I mean, what's the best way to kind of just kill people off and kind of re? Well, I don't know. How no many way. people died in China? So Can we get that number? How many people from died? the coronavirus from that article or something like that? That's no, no, no. It? From the article so far, um, it was two thousand two, from He's everywhere like, is two thousand six hundred and sixty six, yeah. but from China was like two thousand and four hundred and something. <laughs> I'm like twenty two hundred. So, He's wow. like, nah, nah, nah. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's right like, in the article. Two, <laughs> he said that. I read it literally. Yo, well, just like, an FYI too. When I like, I don't know. You know, I'm sure we'll do this again, but. When I send those articles, it's not like a homework kind of thing. It's oh, no, like, no, I know. Yo, if you want to, you know, this is just thoughts that I had that we could But you're also about. talking to somebody who, who does it, too. Yeah, so, so it's know, like, I do shit. my it's research. Like, I ain't coming unprepared. Yeah, come on, I'm son. like, yo, so I read this article. He's like, yeah, by the way, it was in the New York Times on right? the 23rd. <laughs> I, like, oh, I got to do it, man. For, um, no, I'm come prepared. But, um, yeah. I forgot my train of thought, bro. That little stupid pen has me. <laughs> do you even smoke it? Want to yeah, I took a few hits. But that's all I need, man. That's all I need. Oh my god! Dang it. Nah, it's like, <laughs> it's like seen yo, it. It, well, and so, but he says they're not real hits. Say they're I real know. hits, man. Hi, hi, right, let me see. Hi. Half a second. Let me see. Woo. Yo, because last time yeah, I got one right here, from my head was gonna. That's explode, sativa. Man. But what do you guys? Wait, what's this? That's sativa. Yeah, this yeah, looks that, more that safe. For you. Give me this the, one. <laughs> he's like, give me that. I don't trust either one. That's that more. Feels like a dick. That's, that's more dick. energy, not not. Uh... Yo, weed is not gonna give you energy. Don't lie to me, dude. Sativa. Have you ever heard of like the difference between sativa and indica? Yeah, yeah, yeah by every fucking pothead ever. Fucking ever. Yeah, dude, <laughs> I'm, not even, I'm not even getting smoke on that. So you guys, do you guys vape? Like besides weed, I mean, do you guys vape? Do nah, you don't. vape, bro? I don't waste my no. Lungs I was you, about to say, you, how do you guys do feel you about vape? the whole band shit? Yeah, I was about to say Ooh, about that whole band. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't vape obviously, but uh, we talked about it on our podcast, and it was kind of like. The biggest thing I, I took from it, to be completely honest, and the reason why I'm asking is because I want a party bus, right? And mm-hmm. they were like, you know, you can smoke weed, it's cool. 
but any tobacco product you can't have. I was like, damn. Like, when the hell did that switch like happen? Was it in Massachusetts? Well, the party bus was going to Mass. Yeah, that's why. So, uh, in Mass, you can smoke. We, I, I actually, you know, day, oh, okay. day job, I actually, um, I'm a sales manager at a dispensary. Which one? Oh, shit. It's a uh, Massachusetts. <laughs> about which one? On day one, he's like, "I'll be on the podcast, but I can never say where I work mm-hmm. ever." I All never right. do. Calm yeah. down, Bruce. Fuck that. Mean, what the fuck? <laughs> hey, but yeah, um, it's crazy how how many people smoke now. Yeah, no. And what's crazy is like, you know, the people like our age, everybody smokes, but the people that come into dispensaries, you're talking about like are forty plus, forty to oh, seventy yeah, for sure, women. Bro. Mm. Those are the people that are going to dispensaries. Bro, everybody smokes, man. The the whole vape ban thing, the the thing that irritated me was to see how fast and how swift the government could put a stop to something. Yeah. And there wasn't even that much death. And to something as, as simple as vaping, that leads me to believe, like, comparatively. yo, when we have other issues that take fucking months to go, what the fuck are y'all doing? Mm-hmm. You just demonstrated that you can actually, with the swift hand of the law... Make something illegal. Shut that shit down. Shut that shit down, bro. And we're playing games. Don't fuck around with my Second Amendment, though. I know y'all could do it, but don't do it. (laughs) That's the next thing, man. man, I don't know, but I don't think it's going to go. Yo, I I think there should be some common sense kind of things to it, but, you know, like, at at the end of the day, you know. The thing about common sense is it's subjective. Mm, It is subjective, but I bet you, like, when when you're talking about common sense, Mm -hmm. there's always going to be a majority, a heavy majority opinion on something. So do you, you know, think, like, let me ask you, bro. Yeah. You don't. You've probably never put mustard in your eye, but I like to me that's common sense. Yeah. I've never done it, but I wouldn't do it. Yeah, and you, it. exactly. You got one <laughs> asshole that's gonna be like, well, I could put mustard in my, it's my eye, right? You can if you want, but nine of us out of ten are gonna be like, bad idea, bro. But I'll tell you what, though, if one person does it on IG or TikTok and start a challenge, yeah. every motherfucker's oh, every gonna motherfucker, do it. Yeah, these motherfuckers don't have common sense. <laughs> It's so, do you bad. think that right, a regular actually, yeah. person Sad. could own a uh, like an AK? I don't really see a problem with it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, my, that's to me, automatic weapon. to that's my like, common that's sense, are like that's technically, yeah. to my common sense, is like the wrong. They're not. Yeah, AR-15s are, are not. AK-47s are assault rifles. Touche. You did say AK. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yes. The ARs, yes. but the ARs are the ones that are like everyone's talking Trying about because they look scary. They look like. They look exactly like an M16. I got three of well, them. That's it's what fucking. It is. It's hard. You know the the difference between an uh, and you can double check, but I'm pretty sure the only difference between an M16 and an AR15 is the M16 yeah. has a burst feature. Yeah. So mm-hmm. it can pop, 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 pop. Yeah, that was an actual hold of the trigger. Yeah, yeah. That's interesting. And but if you're a good shooter, you can fucking just do it your damn self. I'd yeah, be at I'd be at the range dump. Anyway. <laughs> the thing is, yeah. the Constitution, and I'm paraphrasing, <laughs> but it says, you know, that we should be able to bear arms. You know, in accord to, in accordance to the government. Mm-hmm. So like, if these guys are allowed to have AK 47s I should be allowed. Yeah, yeah. I, don't I don't need, know if I you... don't need a Walmart shotgun special. I need some real. <laughs> you guys yeah. got tanks. I want some real Droids shit. Hook me up, bro. You're right. So, so like, I feel like. Right Boom. I'm not reading that. Yet. Can you read that? There's <laughs> a non NFA regulated civilian assault rifle that is semi fire only. The M16 is the NFA regulated class. Whatever assault class three assault rifle that offers various shooting modes. Yep, you are That's right. super interesting. Semi burst and full auto. Because yeah. it says everybody who argues about guns, they always say AR fifteen is not an assault rifle. And that's literally AR fifteen dot com. And it says AR fifteen is a non NFA regulated civilian assault rifle. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. That is interesting. Right. What the fuck? I, I say theory. let the people own them. To me, the common sense part is not about the type of weapon you own. It's about, like, your history. You know, at the end of the day, man, I feel bad. Like, you're an American and you have rights. But if you've been convicted of, you know, violently, you know, domestic abuse, Mm -hmm. uh, domestically abusing people, and you're just a violent person. That's all for it. At the end of the day, man, you're not the guy to have a gun, you know? And if the government comes for you, tough, bro. You know, you fucked up a lot, man. fucked up a lot. I I agree. To me, that's a common sense thing. Tighten up on who can get them. I just feel like if you're squeaky clean, clean as a whistle, you should get it. Because I am, and I got... I got so right. many. I build them. I got I my feel concealed like you're, you're and everything. You're born with the right, but yeah. if you fuck up, it can, be, it can be taken away. Absolutely. Right. I feel like the argument to that, which I don't agree with, but what people would say is that all these shootings, all these big massacres that are happening, are always by somebody who's squeaky clean. Yo, you know, that, that's a that's you know, what though. They're so not. Tough, that's you know what makes what it I mean? tough. That's I, I give you that. I gotta I disagree with you 100. percent I don't even think that's what people say. Because <laughs> most of these people, it comes out that they're not squeaky clean, bro. They have mental health issues. 
I think that's the mental real, health that's the problem. Um, it's not really agenda that. is just to show that they're not. I think like kids saying, "Oh, he had problems at home." Every fucking kid had problems at home. Nah, oh, he was but, mentally ill. But there's yeah, we're all fucked some, up. We think nah, about some crazy I'm shit about sometimes. Cases I mean, of where like there were clear cut signs that this person is a sociopath. And it was overlooked, or they were on different types of psychoactive medication. I yeah, bet, that, I bet there's a pretty high yeah, percentage, yeah. man. Like we all have problems, but we're not all on medication. True, you know, because sure. I think medication is, and it's even overprescribed as it is. Yeah, man. You know, so that business, uh, man, multi billion dollar bro, business. It's crazy because you know in like Massachusetts, babies, man, like ten year old yeah. kids on Fucking Adderall nuts. and Ritalin. The doctors want to put them on because they can't sit still in school. Yeah. Who the fuck sits still in school? You know, you're, <laughs> you're eight or ten year old boy. Like you should be bored in a desk all day, dude. Yeah. When I was younger, I was fucking wild, and they wanted to put me on. And I'm look at me. I'm barely okay, but I'm alright. Yeah, like, <laughs> I could imagine really. if I got put on that stuff, I'd probably dude, be a exactly. zombie by now. Exactly, you know? dude. I bet it's terrible. And, I think, and I'm not trying to t- you know talk shit about anybody that's yeah. Taking some kids do need it though. We, we yeah, see some badass kids. I don't know if kids need it. I mean, I, that, to me, that gets tricky because they're not even developed, bro. And th- there's bad. Mm. And then there's like, okay, you have chemical imbalance. And then there's like bad. And then there's hyper. But there's yeah. like, I, it's, I don't know, man. You know, call me biased. I have two kids. I was a yeah. kid. I have three younger brothers. Like, I've seen different types and helped raise many different types of kids. And I, you know, I, one of my brothers was on medication. And I kind of, you know, I tore into my mom. I hated the fact that she went that option. Did yeah. you notice a difference? Of course, man. They're just not yeah. the same person. My, my you know? little think, brother, same thing yeah. too. Think, yeah. think about what it does. You take somebody that's hyper and just always on the go. Go like that's who mm-hmm. they are. You know, yeah. it's crazy. My mother was somebody who was like super against that stuff growing up, so she never put me or my siblings on it. And it's it's crazy because now, like looking back, you could totally tell like. There's always those kids that are on it that, you know, come to school and they're just like zombies. And, and yeah. you didn't, you never Bro. really understood as a kid what put them into that, yeah. you know, mindset. It's just tricky because, like, my younger brother, he got put on medication. And, you know, he was always very, let's just say, violent. Like, he was, like, you know, gang affiliated, crazy, you know, mm-hmm. bugging out. But I did see the switch when he started medication, dude. Straight up zombie mode. And it was literally looking into this kid's eyes and he was not there. That's wild. It was so trippy and he completely changed. Now, I mean, I love him to death, but he's kind of like in a mental clinic in a sense. But so, like, I don't know if it's because of the meds or he was already mm. going crazy from street shit. So, I, that's me a, and my yeah, mom talk a, about it and we're a like, tough combination, man. you see what I'm saying? So, yeah. it's like, is he, was he already going nuts because of the bullshit or did the meds fuck him up so bad? That he happened to be in the clinic. It it's seems crazy. like it creates a dependency at Bro, a young age. 100% and then, like, agree with when you're all somebody medication. who has, all you know, those other influences in your life, it's very easy to replace that addiction gotcha. with mm. with something else. You know, whether it be you know harder drugs, yeah. you know, um, trouble, like whatever it is. Uh, it's crazy. Yeah, I think uh, the thing that's fucked up too is that when it comes to meds, a lot of people use that shit like as a scapegoat or just quick to do it when you can simply just just get healthy. You know what I mean? Start, yeah. you know what you I know mean? What like is, you, got, you got all these fucking, uh, these all fucking 40-year-old single moms in the suburbs and want to do Pilates together and mm. nobody's there to fucking discipline their kid because there's no dad around so they just take him <laughs> to the doctor and like yo and then you he's got off the wall give him some medicine bro <laughs> and you got the Pilates instructor fucking him so they yeah. all mess <laughs> yo that's what you know and I know that's a, it's a stereotype and kind of judgmental for me to say but I feel like I, and maybe you can look this up man I, I bet there's a statistical relation to how many kids are on medication versus how many kids are growing up in single parent households, man? Because I feel like, dude, you know, like coming up with one parent instead of two, just um, what's the word, man? I'm looking for like it's like, it's an imbalance, na- like naturally, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like you're just missing a part of your like, life, bro. It's kind of like the Aaron Hernandez bullshit. You know what I mean? As soon as his father passed, he started. They, they blamed it on him going well, haywire I mean, he because there was also, no discipline in the house. He was also, you know. Sucking a lot of cock, and he didn't want people to know about that, bro. I don't know, man. So, I don't know if I, I run know. with him. I don't yeah, know if I believe yeah, bro. it, bro. You think they're all lying? You think they're lying? I don't believe bro. it. I was saying to him, I you're was telling saying. me you as a 15, 14 year old, you never just you know played with your boy. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he said play with your boy. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. Play with my own, fuck. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nah, I mean, I mean, not to trail off of what you mentioned, yeah, no, but fine. you know, it's just I don't know. I just feel like. I seen this meme and it was just like, damn, like Aaron Hernandez spent his whole life being as hardcore and gangster as he possibly could just to end his legacy being fucking <laughs> gay as shit. Nah, dude, it's like, like no, dude, out there. I think they just really <laughs> aim just to really destroy his fucking, 
his his whole thing. But I I don't know. What I just personally don't. For that, yeah, I just, what was what about him is worth destroying? That's the yeah, his legacy already, as a football player, not, maybe. Well, he's still a great football player. You know, you can you know you've taken yeah, the butt and still be great. The only thing, the <laughs> only thing that because like, I, I didn't believe so. anybody that would say that he was gay on that documentary. But the only thing is, without him being gay, there's literally no motive to any of those crimes. Well, that's so what that's, I'm saying. They needed cool. a motive. It's not that there's no motive, but that motive makes C- sense. I don't you know, think so. You could, you could there, say I think the CTE. No I think the CTE makes you're the CTE. Sense. Makes the gay to throw to, to that in there is like, bro, like, wh- where are we going with this? So you don't believe he's gay though? I don't or think was so. Gay? I don't think so. To me, maybe he diddled that old all. and maybe has some like there's gay no thoughts. You can't dip your toe in the gay pool. <laughs> maybe you, he got his dick. Maybe, gay, maybe, you know? maybe he got his dick sucked, but did his suck dick. So are you really gay? And he could have just been true. Did you let a dude suck? Hell no. But I'm just saying. So what about you? He could have just been. In prison, you're just yet. gonna ignore what I asked. <laughs> <What'd> you <laughs> say? <laughs> I said, Would you let another dude suck your dick no, or no? Dude, no, all right, that was kind of that was kind of soft. Dick. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, oh, why no. you down? <laughs> no, what I um, nah, you know, but prison gay though. Like, I feel like that's not a thing, bro. That's Honestly, as weird as it is, I, I hear it it's is, gotta be a thing. It it is. Sure it's a thing, but when you come out, I. It those thoughts are still there, yeah, bro. No, that's fact. Oh, that's probably that's true. You know, sure. those thoughts, like, the, that's for sure. yo. No one's arguing that. That's probably true. Because what you're saying, if, if being prison gay is a thing, you're kind of going back to that whole argument that being gay is a choice. That is true. And you're not yeah. born gay. So you're telling if me you that bring people that up, are born yeah. gay? You're telling me that people choose to be gay based on their surroundings. Because with that logic, bro, that means that two gay parents that adopt a baby have an influence and that kid is more likely to turn up gay. Or become gay. Is that a thing? Is it gay? Is that, I don't know. Fuck if it's a thing. I want to know your thoughts on it first. Because that's what I'm interested in now. Yeah, but it could also be environmental. So, like, it could... It could be environmental. It could be environmental. Yeah, could. So, I feel like if you're literally so. in there and, like... Cool, we're in, getting in the shit. mindset yeah. of Aaron Hernandez, who is like... I would never get influenced into being gay. <laughs> so, that, okay, that's, that's you're a strong You're going to live in a though. cell for the rest of your life... You're, it's gonna cross your mind in the next forty. It, years. it is definitely. Wow, you're saying he's definitely gonna be in jail. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, if you go to jail, man, in the next four years, Aunt, you will be in this situation. Nah, I honestly feel like if you got fucking life and there's nothing else to do, and then you see, and then it's like, and then you see all the dudes in there, like dudes, they're just, fucking, they're, they're still fucking. fucking, they're like, yo, it is what it is. You got it. You're probably gonna be fucking like, hey, I'm already here the rest of my life. Fuck yeah. it, might as well. If you're there for maybe like three to five years, you're like, no, nah, I could beat my dick just fine. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying I would, but I'm just saying I can see why somebody in there for life or 25 right. years to life. Yo, I got some good titles. Fuck some butt. Episode, <laughs> <laughs> 25 years to life. Would be fuck some butt. Gay. Quote that. I don't know. Damn. But I think, Damn. but I, I, I agree with Ann. I agree with you too. I feel like there might be environmental gayness, but also I feel like people are born gay too. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. That makes it sound like everybody could be gay. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like 100% you know of the population is gay. Possibly. You don't think that, like, so, like, probably, like, we'll say, like, early 2000s and on, it, you started seeing more and more um, homosexual characters uh, represented in TV, oh, right? Oh, for sure. 100%. 100%. So, that, do you think? Legit. Bro, Netflix is notorious bro. right now. Every it first Netflix with Game of has Thrones. a gay best friend, bro. <laughs> everybody. Yes. Yeah. Every yeah. fucking thing I watch, which I'm not mad at. But don't try so hard. I don't even care whether or not you tell me he's straight. Right. You're just throwing into my face that he's gay, which... The weirdest cool. shit is just when they just go straight full force like gay sex on these shows, bro. I'm Yo, like, dude. Like, yeah. Which is... Like, ease it in there. Like, start with the it's gay a very two guys. Ho- it's a very homophobic <laughs> feeling, bro. But I, I, I don't, feel I, that. Hey, you know. I'll, I mean, I'm not homophobic. I have I gay friends, but, but that right there, I'll be homophobic makes to me that. uncomfortable. It does. You know, and I, just, I don't know if this makes me a bad dad, but if there's a... If we're watching a show and there's like a regular, you know, heterosexual sex scene, mm-hmm. dude, I'm like, Steven, close your eyes. Right. But that's it. If there's a, a gay sex scene, <laughs> throw them out the window. <laughs> Alexa, turn off my Xbox. <laughs> I need to Get out of here. Steven. Hey, code red. Code red. It's not a drill. <laughs> this is not a drill. That's hilarious. But, but I don't know. It's weird. weird. And it's almost, and I feel, I guess I feel terrible saying it because maybe I'm sheltering him from the real world. But maybe I'm just not prepared to answer that question to him either. Mm. You know, when he's just like, Dad, what was that about? Because it's, it's still like, I'm not gay. Mm-hmm. And I don't, so I can't really understand what it's like to be gay. So it's hard for me to explain mm. to him what that is without making it seem like I'm ostracizing that group. Right. Mm-hmm. But also while making him understand like, hey, man, like, 
if this ever was you, On your don't mind. worry about it. You exactly. know what I mean? Like, you, you got nothing to be afraid of here. It's hard to convey all of that shit with my natural feeling of like, I want grandkids someday. Like, I want my mm. son to marry. You know, if that's right. selfish and weird, it is what it is. I'd be lying if I, you know, didn't say that. Right. Do we blame so. that on homophobia or just in a sense of, like, our old school way of being brought up? Mm. Old school to me sounds like a societal thing. Mm. I genuinely feel that it's in my DNA, bro. Like, I'm just attracted to women. And I I think men and women naturally, yeah. like, we're literally built to reproduce. You know, yeah, that's I mean, sex yes, is designed for exactly. It, you know? But I'm just meaning like Genetic. the act of like shutting shit down and being uncomfortable. That's Do we? Not, is yeah, it I that it's, just uh, upbringing? Thing. Yeah, I think okay, it's it could a be fear a fear thing. thing. You yeah. know, like I'm afraid to have that conversation right now. Mm. You know, it's because how you there's so much to convey, and you know, you have to be sensitive to a few different things. You know, mm-hmm. like his, you know, his sexuality. Whenever it, you know that is what it is. Yeah, you know, yeah whenever it comes up, you know, he needs to be. He needs to feel safe enough talking to me where I'm not going to look at him in a way that I might have just described something else. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. So that's it. Hey, shout out to Dwayne Wade for like going through that shit, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What's up with Dwayne? So his son is trans wants to be a woman right it's transgender yeah his daughter. they're gonna go through with it and he and he so, oh i'm gonna say she because that's what she wants how to be old called is, how old is the 12 kid, years well, old. just be careful about how you search this please <laughs> you're on my ip address <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> like, 12 oh, years old dude and See, the biggest thing and I we talked like about too it young man it, that, that there we go. i think not shout out to Dwayne wade Dwayne, you're a fucking idiot is my opinion, right bro. and because if my sorry go no, no 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 go go right if my son is 12 years old and he wants fucking chicken and we're eating steak i don't even let him make that decision bro mm. you know like how the fuck am i gonna let you get a life changing sir you can't even pierce your ears by your goddamn self when you're 12 years old bro mm-hmm. you know you can't watch a rated r movies i don't even think you can have a twitch account to play fortnite bro that's right. immediate like, that, that's right. wild man that that's even allowed that the doctors would even allow this bro exactly so, see dope. and we yeah. go ahead go, Brian. The, go, go, go. There, the thing about this and you know i don't want to sound i don't want to sound like somebody who is like anti this you but should. True. I just talking in this part, bro. Oh, Sounds my fault. Like time, my yeah. fault. Yeah, yeah. Um, pull it up. Pull it up. Oh, sorry. there you go. Yeah, I just feel <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, when you look at you know transgenders as a whole, you know, like there is such a high suicide rate in that group, especially yeah, man. when you're looking at too. such a yeah. young at, at a young age. Mm. So well, that could go one of two ways. What do you mean? Do you think it's because they come out as that? And then it fucks them up, or because most of them hide it for so long and are like maybe bullied and shit that it fucks them up. But don't you think a lot of people are bullied? Like we're talking forty percent. That's a high suicide Yo, rate for be, any be, type of group. Be realistic, That's bro. True. When yeah. you were in school, man, if you were a you know at the end of the day, if you're a boy and you're mm-hmm. like trying to be a girl, you don't yeah. think you're more susceptible to bullying than if you're just I do a you boy think that's a do boy? you think that it's more so than being gay? Because forty percent of gay people don't kill themselves. Mm. Uh, I think so. I think it's much more because I know a very good handful of gays. I'm friends. You know, I have a lot of gay friends. Mm-hmm. I don't know personally many, many transgender people. Yeah. Mm. You know, I think there's a, a much smaller percentage of transgender people than there are gay people. Yeah. I, I think it's Yeah, I think it's I don't even know if it's not gay. It's still, to me, it just seems like you're gay with some extra steps in there. I just, <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Like I, I read an article <laughs> once. I was like, transgender woman <clears throat> or man turned into woman impregnates his transgender wife Woo! that once was a woman but now a husband like yep so that's like yo so the thi- yeah you, it's what you it gotta was. be 18 you gotta at least and maybe even older even honestly. older bro think about it yo your brains when is your brain developed in like 26 28 Mm-hmm. My so, boy, right got it now. doing, like, man. Yeah. Press, like press. It. You already know. So, like, when your brain is not developed until you're what, like, twenty five? Yeah, yeah, exactly, twenty five. So, how can to me, it's the fact that piercing your ears is illegal. Getting a tattoo is illegal with until you're eighteen. But you can go and get a, a, a what do you call that surgery? A it's not a sex. Change. Is it a sex, sex change? change? So, I don't think they actually get the surgery at that age. But what they're doing is well, they start getting the testosterone. Or yeah, whatever. because yeah, what happens is, is that those Moving kids it. haven't gone through puberty yet. Right. So like they're right. basically no, stopping it. You don't it. even know how good sex feels with a yeah. girl. Yeah. How are you gonna decide, bro? Yeah, dude. Oh my. I think God. you gotta give them time. You know, you gotta let the kid at least grow, have a chance to grow through it if it's an option. Because once you I do it, that. there's no going back. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I feel like everybody's attacking the world on Bootsy because he said that he was like, "Yo, don't cut that boy's dick off." Like, he, I mean, he said Little it more. Bootsy. Little Bootsy. Little Bootsy. Okay. Uh, the rapper yeah. and he's a he, he was said, a way he, more he aggressive. Said what most rational people are thinking, yeah. man. Like, what he said doing, it on our bro? podcast. It's what like, are you bro, doing, what are you doing, man? You have a twelve year old son. Yeah, listen, I mean, he, what? What is? Uh, oh, uh, sorry, man. No, this, go, go, go. 
I think they're getting paid. What is the kid even like? What words are coming out of his mouth where you're like, did he say, mom and dad, like I want to be a girl? Like, well, yeah. Or is he much. like? But what makes him even feel that way? Because I feel like sometimes the the argument is that gender is a social construct, mm. and, and if like if you, if you having male genitalia doesn't make you a male. Then why the fuck are you changing them? Like if your genitalia is irrelevant, why are we doing mm. surgeries to change them? A lot of times either they're, they're not. irrelevant or they're they either they're irrelevant or they're not. You know what I mean? Like yeah. if it matters, it matters. And it's like, dude, if if you're a kid, man, and you like playing with dolls or whatever, it doesn't mean that you are transgender and you were born a girl in a boy's body. It just means you like fucking dolls. Like right. I have a friend, right. you know, a kid that's on my son's football team. This kid likes to paint his nails. He you know dresses up in dresses and you know prances around. But Fuck. nobody's like fucking saying, "Hey, do you want a sex change?" You're, he's just right. being himself, you know, or himself. When he grows up, if he decides that, then let him make that decision. But I just feel like that's I agree. way too young, man. I think yeah. it's just way too young. The kid hasn't went through. Pro- bad, no, no, no. I'm but you, sure. it's because you have a son. Mm. You understand that situation, and it's like, dude, like, no, I communicate with a ten-year-old daily. So I'm like, there's no way I'm letting that you you're ready to like make that. this decision exactly. Bro. And dude, even if so, you have like, to ask me if you can get download TikTok on your phone. You know what I mean? <laughs> right, yeah, and play Fortnite. Every night, yeah. <laughs> but it's like go through the process, like talk to your child and just know and tell them like, you know, you're gonna have to be this way for until you're like at least sixteen to eighteen. I can't make you make I can't let you make that decision on your own. It's not happening, but I'm going to support you any way possible yeah. to make you feel and make your surroundings what you want it to right, be. Right. But until then, you can't do that because I'm not saying you're not a girl or whatever. Right. I'm just saying that it's, a, it's too young. You possibly there's a one percent, maybe point zero 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 one percent chance that you might change your mind. Being mm. this young, your brain is not there yet. No, there's a much mm. higher percentage. I know, I agree. What but even if it was not that, in the kid's mind at the mm. time when you're talking yeah. to them, they don't. What think is they the don't think that, but it might of, be of adults that have that change and then want to reverse it. See if you can find that's that. Really I'd be good. so that's interested in that. Well, I feel like the conversation, the, the conversation that I would have with my like, why why do you want to go through the surgery? Mm. Is it is it because you just you want to you want a vagina? Is that all it is? And that's the thing too. Being that young, do you even know like? like are, could, could you guys have even had that sex talk yet? What do you even know what a vagina is yet? What's the difference going to be? Like, what does it mean to? Is it because you like boys and you don't want to be gay? So you mm. want to, you know, so like you want to be, be a girl and like, right. like, what is the real thought process? It's a lot behind, into like, it, man. Behind needing the surgery. That's what gets to me. Right. You know, Caitlyn Jenner any way you want, but never what? got the surgery. Yeah. I did not know. She's got a, she, she still got a dick. Right Bruce there. Jenner. We got a dick. Right bro. there. So Bruce what does that say? Yeah. 99.2? So 0.3. No, no, no. It's a number. Of, yeah. Zero. Oh, sorry, sorry. I can't see. My <laughs> bad. Who doesn't think I know. 0.3 patients who underwent transition related surgery later requested yeah but see wow. requesting the actual reversal is different than just regretting right. it, you know what i mean like true true but i mean that i guess that number is not as high as i would have expected right but that's probably some but that's good then i mean in a sense like, i mean if you yeah at least people yeah. that are doing it are like you know right but bruce what you would say with bruce jenner um or caitlin jenner i should be correct about that did but, you right. just um what's that what's that you called? just assume no 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 what's no. like you Old named her. Yeah, or old, what yeah, the fuck I is don't know what it is. You know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> yeah, I know what you're talking about. Sure I don't named know. Named her. Yep. But um. Hold on, read that. What's that say? Eleven percent. Female respondents For regret females. after Fe- surgery. Female respondents regret after surgery to the point of reverting back to the original sex is eleven percent. Wow. So females turning into males. Yeah, yeah, see, I just feel like that. that's that enough. And the transgender it, men had a reversion rate of four percent. So once you cut your dick off, it's like, bro, it's, it's too late to regret it. It's what are you going <laughs> to do? Stretch your fake vagina out yeah. to a fake dick? <laughs> <laughs> it up. It's a wrap, man. It's done, man. That's but yeah. women, yeah. it's like, all right, fuck it. I still got a pussy. Just take that. Just take it off my body. You ever heard the conspiracy <laughs> about that? Dead named her. That's what it's called. That dead name. Sorry, man. Yeah, like, well, just dead name in somebody oh, is when. Shit. I think that's a term. Yeah, look, dead name up. But we'll ask him to look up a lot of shit, bro. Okay, he working. Yeah, he, he works his <laughs> ass up. That's why he's going to get paid, though. You know? Right? <laughs> uh, um, when you dead name somebody, it's if they've, they're a transgender and they went from man to woman and you call them by their old name. Yes. Right? Yeah, yeah, right? I dead named her. Yeah. So, like, calling him Bruce Jenner is dead naming him. Never heard yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, I never heard that until now. But yeah, yeah you said Caitlyn. Sorry, correction. Yes, Caitlyn didn't Jenner. cut off uh, her parts. Do you know anybody that's transgender? Uh, a couple. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
I don't. I, I know I one person, but is, is like try to. I won't say I know. I've met and it's acquaintance, mm-hmm. but it was just. I want to bring this up because it just fucked me up because I was like on Tinder one time. So I met her through a friend, and it was like we were all at the club, whatnot, and we were Dangerous. chilling. It, exactly. Damn. But so I'm looking. I'm just like, all right, cute. You know what I mean? Looked, and I'm like, but something seems off. <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? But what did it for me is I saw the hands. And the hands was a dead giveaway. Yeah, like I could, that's funny. It was just yeah. too, you know what I mean? Like she you know a man is. Your mouth that she was oh. like, <laughs> so I knew. You're so gagging. I instantly knew, but I didn't change attitude. I was like, you know, you got ladies want to drink, blah blah. It is what it is. Like I, I'm oh, completely yeah. it, comfortable not, with that. It's not a, a thing, yeah. It's a not a thing. thing. I just wanted to man. know, right? Well, but you what want to know? Because you no, you're not gay. Yeah, I'm, I'm that's not. Why gay. you want to know? But our, but his, but you know what? Not to switch it, but is it an argument? There is an argument saying that even though you mess with a trend. Does it make you gay? Yes. 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 Hundred percent. But they're no post, longer post, a man. Post op. Well, that to me is where I, <laughs> I don't, guess it depends I don't on what you think. That. No, yeah. I know. I agree. That's subjective. So do you? So do you think that they're not a man? Listen. Once they transgender, I'm, I'm that's probably, the question. I'm probably, <laughs> I'm probably, <laughs> I'm probably like, a little conservative in the in this train of thought, but yeah. To me, you know, science is science, and I'm, you know, if you're born a man, you're born a man. If you're born a woman, you're born a woman. You're never getting rid of the Y chromosome, right? Mm. To, to me, yeah. and it, you can no, call not. it what you want. You can say, well, technically, it's male, female. I, like, I, to me, it's man. But no woman, matter what, you're boy, always girl. going to have trans man, trans woman. You're not a woman. Right. You're not they, a you're man. Not I just think it's an unnecessary yeah. conversation. Like, me too. if you want to be trans. You should do that. I'm going to support you. I'll Absolutely. call you whatever pronoun you want to be called. Absolutely. But I would. Zerizim, you do all that shit? Say it again? Zerizim, Zai. They no, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> Zerizim. Let me take I'll call you he or she. I will call you he or she. I'll call you he or she. I'll call you he or she, but I don't, <laughs> I don't subscribe to that thought where once you go through surgery or take, you know, once you say you're a girl, you're a girl now, no. I'll call you her because it makes you happy. Yeah, I'm not about I'm not respect. about anybody be exactly. feeling less than. Yeah. But Don't I'm not going to ignore science. biology, you know exactly. what I mean? I, I agree with you wholeheartedly and I respect dude, that's and that's all I could do. And I'll respect the pronoun like you said as long as it's in line with mm-hmm. he him, yeah. she her. You know, like I I'm not I can't see beyond that. You can't the zims and the zers and the zys like that. That shit gets how many crazy. Are there, bro? This is probably a billion. Infinite. That shit gets I honestly crazy. feel like if I'm and, and to me, that just that's a, that's an, a weird energy that conflicts with me a lot, mm. you know, because I I feel like I'm being misled. I feel like you're trying to dupe me. You're lying mm. to me about something, you know, like that's it's not a thing. Mm. So if I'm if I'm going to meet up with some friends, right, and you're like, oh, "What's good?" and I'm like, "Oh, what's good, Drew?" and you're like, "Yo, this is my friend, Ba." And he goes by Zer. Like, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Like, I've I never met I, any of those people. I can't be in that group because I know, I just know that you've crossed the line and every conversation we have is probably unrelatable at this point. Right. You know what I mean? Because I, it, it's, yo. it's just so super, super, like, way too progressive for me. I'm right. Not, I'm not, I don't have the capacity yet. for that. And not only yeah. that, though, I just, w- just to continue with the conversation, uh, with the story is that met her, whatever, and it was fine, but I was... Out. But no, no, you good. But I was like on Tinder one time and I'm mm-hmm. scrolling and I seen her. And the thing that pissed me off about that is that there was no thing saying that she was trans anything. So a guy can click on it, think that was a woman and then get set up. I don't know. Maybe she will tell tell him after. But no. you ha- my biggest thing when it comes to trans, you have to let that person know in advance or like Ooh. right then and there personally because you're taking away my choice. He's like, like, yo, you just gender raped me. You because just, like, I didn't awesome shit. What if I went through with it or whatever? Did, yeah. And then you tell me after. I could either be like, you know what? Fuck it. It's okay. Cross the line. Or I can literally kill you because you really fucking robbed me of my fucking choice. And now I don't know what to think because I'm a strong believer thinking that you're a man. You made me sleep with a man when I didn't want to. It's because they think, they really think they're, they're not a man. And, and society not, also aids to that, saying yeah. that no, you and are a woman. That's slippery yeah. slope. That's, that's where thing. it's a slippery slope, though. That's where it fucks up. What else is okay? If they're because well, it's, it's, it's stay always on like the subject it, for a sec. What's that? Mm. As strong as I am, that like I don't buy into you know the differences. Like you're, you know, I I I believe in the biology. Mm-hmm. I do feel that if a person went through that, I don't think they should have to share that information. Which is really strange. Share it to an extent. If you're on Tinder, if you're on dating, I don't think so. It doesn't have to be the social. That's social media. That's just a media outlet. But on a dating site, 
I still don't think you so. You still man. don't think so? Which is strange. Why? You don't think on Tinder it should have like a trans, you're, I'm a man, woman, trans man, trans woman, and then that just way. Put trans woman. You have the option I to say, I don't, don't want that. Anything. I want to unf- I want to filter them nah, out. I, I, say, I say male, woman. Okay. Prefer, prefer not to whatever that, you know. So what options. So what happens in, in, that, in that situation where if you went after a woman, I right? feel like if you. And found out that she used to be a male. And you slept with that person. Hey, man. You had <laughs> you had your chance to figure that out. Wow. If she fooled you that good or he fooled you that good. Some some of them look hey. at point. Yikes. Fuck it, bro. At that point, who gives a fuck? All right, it, now. If it now, passes, if you're that far into the DD, you're like, okay. I'm sold. Bro, that's I'm cool. in. <laughs> All right, <laughs> fine. That's one That's one way to look good at it. you, man. But then, no, good for you. <laughs> did I just... Did good did good I just, you, man. That's awesome. awesome. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, I respect like, your progressive. You know what I'm saying? But then they, But now, in this whole Me Too movement and suing <laughs> yeah, everybody... All, all your boys are like, yo, I heard you fucked Frank. <laughs> What? No, her name was Francesca. <laughs> Francesca. <laughs> taking pictures of her on the fucking wrestling team. Like, oh, Jesus damn. Christ! <laughs> but then it comes to the point where you know what I mean. You slept with them, whatever. And now, all right, San Francisco, you're mad as fuck. You go to court. You can literally sue that person, possibly because they told you some shit. And you know what I'm saying? So now you're in trouble for not letting somebody know. Possibly. I don't know what's the whole thing with that. Did you just make that law up? I'm, I'm making it right now. Like you <laughs> because gender, I'm telling you right now, consent. if I end up sleeping with a trans woman, it comes up fine, I'm, in, I'm suing the fuck out of you. Yeah, and I'm beating your ass. And I'm beating your ass. <laughs> you're a man to me. I'm yeah, sorry. That, yeah, that is a weird one because it's like... I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know if it's a law. Maybe they'd be like, hey, but it is what it is. I also understand but. the feeling because, you know, I'm joking about it, but, but I would probably feel like, what the fuck just happened? That's not yeah. fair. But I also feel like as a person, like, they shouldn't have to share that if they don't but want also, to. But also, say for instance, you get into the dating situation where now you're invested in that person and you want to have children. You, wanna, you want that woman that you love to bear children and they can't. Now yeah, that's th- fucked up. You see what I'm saying? There's just like so many morally, avenues. Though, more than legally. Okay, maybe, yeah, you know, maybe, and, possibly. And, so, and I think, like, possibly. Tinder and but you all could, these you things, could probably like, still sue them Companies are regulated by what they can do legally, not mm. really, you know? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That's a weird line to cross because... I get it, bro. I'd be heated. I, yeah. I'm just saying. I'd to be stay on the, the the subject of transgenders, I was just reading that one of the uh, is that bathroom? Yeah. one of the states, um, I, and you could look this up. Some state is trying to pass a law that requires uh, people to play sports, as far as like high school, middle school, all that, to stay in the gender, gender of birth. That bro, that's a hundred percent fact and it should be like that it's crazy yeah. how a lot of people it's, say no people that say no are just like science deniers and they're too left they're too far left you know that and i hate to equate this to a left and right thing but it is you know or, or they're just too what's the word they're like radical in that thought because yeah. that's just silly it's silly you can't deny the physical differences between men and women Natural man, natural woman. At the end of the day, yes, you can find a Venus Williams who's a great tennis player and could destroy most men. But if you just take 100 average men and 100 average women, mm-hmm. anything to do with you know physical, you know lifting, speed, strength, the men are gonna dominate all the time. That's just how we're built. But there's a lot of things that women can do that we can't. You know, like, they're better nurturers, and, you know, forgive me if this sounds sexist, but I think it's a natural thing. Yeah. You know, I try to be a great nurturer for my kids. My girl is better at it, naturally. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It just is what it is. She tries to, to be strong and lift things, you know, and do shit with her body physically. Naturally, it's just easier for me because I'm bigger, I'm stronger. You know, it's just how we're made. So to think that it's fair to let a 15-year-old natural boy wrestle against a 15 year old natural girl it's stupid because he's going to dominate them all the time and he should dominate them all the time right you know so doesn't always but this but genetically and you know if he wrestles a hundred natural 15 year old woman he's going to dominate most of them Mm -hmm. probably in the high 90s Mm -hmm. maybe all of them Mm. it's just so unfair that people think that that should even be okay yeah, it's unfair to the women. To the women, exactly. Yeah, like you're girls. literally letting a dude. Um, I don't know if you guys watch South Park, but they did a great episode. What's, uh, what's up? What's South Park? Oh, it's this show. It's uh, it's new. You never you haven't seen it yet. <laughs> um, but yeah, so like the idea was they took um, Macho Man Randy Savage, yep. and then he decides. I'm I identify as a woman now, oh, and then shit. two weeks later, he's already in MMA 
fights with women just beating the piss out of these girls. <laughs> oh, shit. Like, literally, like, breaking their fucking faces in. And then, like, it, it's all about this, like, super PC group that has to, like, choose, like, right. is it unfair that a guy is beating the shit out of a woman, or... Or do we respect his <laughs> identifying yeah. yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, no shit, dude. Like, where do, where, does he, where do you draw the line? It's dude? almost comical. Do you it just say comical. it? If you say it, does that make you a woman? I feel like, from the way it's looking, it seems like that shit, which is crazy to me. I read a tweet from this MMA fighter, and he's just like, all right, guys. you got a full-face beard. You are a man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that, I think what you're, what you're saying is, like, a really good... Uh, a good example of like the disconnect between generations, right? Because when Trump said, "Oh, I'm banning all transgenders from the military," like people think that as like every single person is not mm. going to be there. But reality, they're not a transgender person until they're in the eyes of the military until they're taking estrogen or mm. on antidepressants or on like until they're like actually taking medicine to right. transition. But mm. To a person, like, I was having this conversation with uh, my soon-to-be sister-in-law, and she was saying, as soon as they decide, once they make that decision... So right now, right now I can turn into a woman. Right now, just yeah. say Ladies it. free at just this club, fucking I'm say a it, woman. Josh. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies free before 11, <laughs> hook me up. <laughs> but I, like, I, that's, I, the, that's the world we live, we live in. in. Yeah. No, nah, that is, is not the world we live in. I feel no, like that's really probably is. a small percentage of the actual real world, and they're the percentage that's just fucking all it's over It's polarizing. Media that's the thing. About. It's yeah. polarizing. I just right. think society and media is just really doing everybody a disservice with all this shit. Oh, for sure. This yeah. is the world. This is the world we live in. We're I becoming really, too accepting of yes. like, you know, irrational shit. Come yeah. on, bro. You, know? you travel from Massachusetts to California, 90% of that trip, there's not a single transgender person anywhere to be found. Mm-hmm. When you get there, forget it, bro. When, you, when you're in Massachusetts or New mm-hmm. York or LA, like you see them everywhere. But that's just not a. There's more people too, though. That's true, but also it's just not a way of life out there. That's like a that's a city thing. It's something that you see in big cities because I don't even know the answer to why. So you're saying that it's the only thing that makes sense there is like it's influenced by, um, like the media and Hollywood, like you know where there's a lot of people and there's glam and there's, you know, pop culture is more prevalent in those areas. I think it's actually you know deep down a way to you know it's just it's population control if they can get x amount percent of the population you doing that reminded me of some shit i wanted to talk about way earlier and I yeah that, bro. Killing, that's awesome. killing masculinity man yeah yeah because there's it, the percentage of people especially men that do that they're not repopulating i read a tweet oh, sorry no no this please. mma fighter this dude mma fighter and he said all right guys i've decided that i now identify as women a woman, so I'm gonna start fucking everybody up in women's <laughs> MMA. But I'm also a lesbian woman, so I'm still gonna fuck bitches. <laughs> I was like, "Yo, my man figured that shit oh, out." That's a dream. <laughs> Joanna man ass dude. Right there. <laughs> Joanna man. Yeah, Do you know so it's funny. true? Like, say for instance, you know, if there was ever a draft, you know what I mean, and like war or whatever, mm-hmm. right? Do you know that men tip uh, still? The only ones women don't get drafted. Is that really a thing? I thought I read that. That I mean, not. it doesn't happen. Well, I mean, the I last time the last it happened, draft was, was in the '60s. Exactly. So, like, that's the rules were written then. Yes, yeah. they well, haven't yeah. been. But re- women are always the fighting. Now. Yeah, exactly. Women won't get called. Won't that's get drafted. What, they, they, and they're they, fighting for change? equality. But fuck it, if you want to be in war with us, you should get drafted too. Well, I think it's a stupid fight to have because we're not equal. <laughs> you know, and that's not to say that we're we're dominant. We're just not the same. You know, it's not we're not greater than them or less than them. We're just. It, we're we're different. not the same, you know. Mm. But there's so many things I was telling Drew that women. You said it last time too, man. They they fucking nurture life inside their body. And yeah, it's crazy. Like we can't do that. Like you don't see men fighting for birthrights. Like we're not. Fuck that. I'm fighting for make it real. <laughs> like we're not. You know, like mm-hmm. we're just different, man. Mm-hmm. You know, so like asking a, a fighting for equal rights is just it can't ever happen. If you had to, if equal you have pay, to, equal all of that, fine. absolutely equal respect. But equal like, if respect. you have to fight for them, they're not really rights. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, you would just have them. Like, we have when it comes to like us and women, we have rights. Mm. We make the rules. Why do we make the rules? We're the boss. It is what it is. But you know, you know what? That world, I actually came up on 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 the podcast too. We was talking about like the like they were say. I think Woody was saying that. A woman is more 
as susceptible to pressing that red button to like fucking end the fucking world or some shit like that well, when they're on like, their period to, whoa, or yo, some shit like yo, that. Yo, and I was and then and then somebody All else came on because they ago. said he was pretty much saying that they're more emotionally involved. And now and and mm. a couple people were like, no, I mean men, we even though we don't fucking bleed, we have our periods when we're fucking prideful and fucking upset we'll fucking press that button and say fuck it so it was one of those things it's like your ego is challenged when your ego is fucking challenged so it was one of those questions where it's like you know when having a woman president would that is that is that what the society is looking at like are they scared that a woman is very emotional and do some rash shit or is it just it's a man's world i think there hasn't been the right woman or is it just hard as a man to look at a woman as a leader i don't know i mean i there's some shit that we is just... Your, is your wife can't... or your girl the leader of your household? Yeah. Is it hard to look at her like that way? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Bro, she just has, she, she has her role, but I'm telling you, bro, I don't <laughs> care it. what household you live in. You're the leader. You're better with money management. Take the money. You're better with the kids and organizing. Take the kids. You're better with working. You bring more money in. You go work. But at the end of the day, you hear a fucking window break in the night and one of us has to go with the bat and check or get a, you know grab the gun. Who's going? Not you, me. You know, like at the end of the day, the man is going to be the one that secures and protects this. But why family. can't that be a woman? Because naturally, we're bigger, we're stronger, we're better fighters. And just like how they're bred to nurture, I feel yeah. like we're bred to know, protect. Nev- we're exactly. Yo, I don't you, know. Could you? I don't know. Be in a relationship You're sending with your a girl, girl with a gun, but like, yo, go check no, her. No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I my heart is as prominent as I can. <laughs> but but I'm just if trying you to like girl that be that advocate. Actually. Fuck you up. Could you be in that relationship? Nah, nah, nah I can't. That's what I'm that saying, bro. Like, like, but like, nope, that's just sorry. because I'm I'm man prideful. But there is probably men that love like that, that shit. Let's yeah. take a poll. Could you? Nah. Could you? I can't. Right? Like, but I do find do, I do find it sexy when there's a little bit of dominance and a woman is stands up for herself. Yeah, like if they like choke that. you but. and flip over and get on top, but that's the line. <laughs> you know, like don't get fucking <laughs> stupid when fucking I ask for a line. sandwich. Don't play that's that sexist. dominance role then. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Don't try to you know when we're in public. Don't play this whole like. I'm not doing shit. You're doing shit. All right? We know what <laughs> goes down. Don't, yeah, don't act in front of people mm. like this in front of people because you know. Right, 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 right. People move. there. We know the. Fu- At the end, like I just feel like it's a natural thing, man. We're just physically we're we're stronger, we're bigger, we're faster. But when it comes to being a president, it's not technically a physical thing. That's all well, mental. So if there's a smart, smart if there's a the smart woman that is very. Country. I think they're, I'm not saying women are not smart enough. I think women mm. are smarter than men for the most part, to Absolutely. be honest with you. Mm-hmm. But I think at the end of the day, like it's the highest rank in the military. And I think when you think military, you think leader. When you think military, you think fighting. When you think fighting, you think security. You know, mm. like it's a security position ultimately, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. To make sure we're safe. But don't you believe... I actually don't think it should be a one-person job. Sorry to cut you Absolutely. off. Absolutely. There's no reason there's not a fucking panel of men and women up there. I agree. Because I think women should be making some of the decisions because they're better at them. But he does have a cabinet. I was and, about to say, cabinet right, and Congress and makes all the decisions. President yeah, but, is just a face. But that's what I'm saying. Even yeah. that's a stupid thing. Like, yeah. have to have one face or one person that has so much power, it doesn't make sense to me. It made sense, you know, when, whenever, bro. When was when did, was Amer- when was the first president? George Washington, seventeen ninety two. All right, seventeen ninety two. I was close. Nice. You know, <laughs> fucking history. Ed. Is that right, or did you throw it out there? I think so. Look it up. Yeah. George Washington. Oh, what year did George Washington become that president? Seventeen ninety two. That would be fucking right. badass. I think a lot. So, but I'm a strong believer that like Obama didn't run office. I think Michelle did. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But with Trump, why is she running though? I feel that's. I, I thought she was. Yo, gonna, I, I, I just think in this light. I don't now, think man. that we'll I see wrong. a female president in our lifetime. I really don't. Well, I had a 1789. He was close. <laughs> I had a strong feeling we'd see a minority, and I think we'll see more minorities. But I, I don't think we're going to see a woman. Minority men. You know what I heard? I heard Trump's daughter is running after her. Oh, she's no way! Bro. Yeah, she's Yo. smart. Who cares? She's Definitely top. the smartest <laughs> drug. <laughs> he said, "Who cares?" She's top, bro. Yo, but you would the, you allow her to protect you? Would you? You would, is the world not ready for a hot president? Mm. I don't care. I would still vote for her, bro. That's that, and that's why. Men that's great. Just be because she's hot. Just because she's hot, bro. Think about think about naturally how sometimes how blinded we are by like sexuality. Mm. At a point, think yeah, about it's it, bro. True. Think about, think about how go many, see like, fucking North Korea. Was it North Korea, Kim Jong Un, whatever, some shit, and then you see her tits all out. That sway the fuck out that oh, motherfucker. What's, <laughs> that, what's that? What's that chick president of like Scandinavia? Mm. What's the yeah? Yo, yeah. <laughs> what's the Pull it up, president? Female president of Scandinavia. Scandinavia. No, trust. Yo, type that, please. 
just put Scandinavia. Scandinavia. Put Scandinavia. Scandinavia. Or just hot, sexy female president. <laughs> this Ethiop- I think Ethiopia got a female president as well. Yo, why too. are you so bad at Googling? <laughs> <laughs> just put like sexy female president. I'm, I promise you she'll find Wait, maybe it's Finland. Up. That's it's not Finland. Pop- it's not Finland. That's the first thing that popped nah, he's up. Got, he's got it. He's got it, bro. He's got it. <laughs> but, I mean, listen. Look at that. No, that's not a fucking <laughs> president. Not a president. Croatia. No way. Croatia. Croatia. There you go. President of Croatia. Croatia. Wow. Bro. Wow. I'd follow her anywhere, dude. Damn! That I is not a president. That's a president. Uh, there is no fucking oh, way. That article. That's not mistaken. Oh, I'm president. fucking voting. So find the, oh I'm moving to Croatia. God, that's not What's really know. good? They I'm have a good soccer team, that's too. That's the model. And then if you scroll up, that's the actual president. <laughs> Same thing, bro. I don't care. <laughs> I don't I'm care. always going to see that now. Every time she's doing a State of the Union, I'm going to see that wow. bikini, bro. Wait, that's fucking uh, Ice T's wife, Coco. No, what the fuck is going on? That's no, that guy, her, that's her, bro. That's not her. The, her jaws, bro? That's her jaw, bro. Her How fa- do you look at her? I just jaw, know that's man. Coco. That's fucking Coco, bro. Else. That is Coco. Ice T got a badass wife. But Croatia, yeah, I you got a few. Did you? Fun what? fact. Both you met of her? Coco? Both of them. Oh, word? Yeah, I was at like a New Year's Eve party in Foxwoods, and they were they were there. It's just like, yeah, subtly like, yeah, I was partying with them. Yeah, yeah right. I was not partying with them. They were in like a... New Eve party at my, my house. Me and my uh, my buddies went and like, that's my girl... Name. Even though hit. that's not Coco, that's the word. Is that Coco? No, that's not Coco. That's no. the president, bro. That's the actual president? So you would vote for her just because Yo, she's hot. Oh, yeah, yes. I'd vote for her. Well, you know what? I voted for Obama because he was black, black, so fuck it. No shit, bro. <laughs> man, I'm not saying uh, you I'm with could you. not vote for Obama. But, at you know, the end he, of the day, bro... He was the man. Can, can we agree, and I'm glad you're... You know, you're here, mm. Freddie. You know, Talk to you me. bring some uh, pigment to this podcast. Oh, yeah, some mel- melanin. <laughs> Yo, we have to admit that a lot of people voted for him just because he's black. Absolutely. A hundred percent. What was the, the biggest and, thing that they said was, uh, let's just get one black president in there. Fuck it. It don't matter. Let's just get one. Yeah. And then we can worry about the bullshit but after. Do, it's crazy. You think, do you think that I'm now like, all the... What? But look yeah. what happened. All the Americans came out and they're like, nah, who tried it? Didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Right. What's Maybe crazy? another hundred years. <laughs> if fucking you look 44. at the last election yeah. and you look at the numbers, the reason why, and the, the, one of the biggest reasons why the Democratic Party lost is because they got all the same votes, except when Obama, came, when Obama ran, they got like 15% mm-hmm. of the black vote, which like only 22%. Of, of black people vote, I think, is like the number. But yeah, I ain't um, gonna lie, man. Black people don't vote, which, well, is, honestly, which is, it, which is you, sad. It's not I bet even, that's not low compared it's not, to everyone. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. It's not low compared to, I would say, like 25% of people vote anyway. Mm. But, you know, Obama got 15% of the black vote. And then I think so what happened Hillary got like 5%. Eight. Huh? The other 85% voted for a white dude? No, 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 no. no, no. Just they didn't vote? 15% <laughs> of the 22%. That's what I'm saying. Oh, oh, oh. So who did the other 85 percent of black people that vote for? Sorry, 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 sorry. 50 percent out of the 22 percent of the black people. So uh, yeah, 22 percent voted, and then 15 percent of that. Yeah, it's like black. Yeah, so like 15 out of 22. If we're looking at the black people, so you're saying 15 percent of black people, period, voted for Obama. Yeah, yeah. And then the rest was elsewhere. Because I was like, damn, that's a high number. Which is crazy because I'm not gonna lie, man. I mean. I'm I'm part of the percentage that don't vote if I don't fuck with it, but it's just it's just I'm not gonna lie I'm I'm part of the problem because we fought to for our right to vote mm. in general, mm. and now that we have it, it's like I'm not even doing it. Yeah. But if I literally don't I like anybody, who the yeah. fuck I'm gonna vote yeah. for? Yeah, I, I respect that a lot because you also have the right not to vote, man. And I think right. voting I'm like fuck, just for a man. party is is stupid. Yeah, for I'm sure. literally not in any party. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hook me, hook me, brother. I'm not for any I'm party. That we got this specifically for you, bro. Not black what? barrel, the black barrel, white barrel, <laughs> barrel. <laughs> that melanin <laughs> barrel. I'll take Yo, it. Appreciate the, the it. The worst part support. about the voting is that Love we really <laughs> listen, man. We got a show for you when you come on on the 15th. Yo, it's gonna be a vibe, man. But go ahead, bro. Um, thank fuck, you. What was I saying? You was this listen. black barrel before? Nope. No, what it was proper twelve. Proper 12. That shit was fucking sexy. I love that. It was smooth. It's that Conor that. McGregor shit, dude. Really? That's his whiskey, yeah. Yo, you gotta send that to me so I can... Oh, shit. It. I didn't even know that. You didn't know that? No. Bro, no, it was know, really fucking smooth. Yo, he wow. came out with that maybe a year ago. Really? It, just, it was introduced, bro. I'm pretty sure it's the number one sell... It outsells Jameson now. You watched the Deontay Wilder fight? Can bro, we get into was, that? It was Can we get into ring. that? It was... Uh, that was the it, big was ad it? on the ring. Proper 12 oh, whiskey. Bro, yeah. he came up, dude. Like, bro, that whiskey is really fucking good. Think about how... Think yeah, about how old and classic Jameson is. 
Conor Penny McGregor's beer. got it's been out for a year. It's the number one selling whiskey. That's insane. Well, Yo, please send that to me because I gotta buy a yeah, bottle because yeah. that was really really smooth. Yeah, but, for sure. I mean, not to digress to that, but yeah. what you guys think about the fight? Oof. Yo, I don't think uh, before the fight happened, I was like, all right, they'll fight, and then mm-hmm. there'll be another rematch probably because the first one was so close. Yep. What After that, I don't. On? I don't think. I don't think Wilder deserves a rematch, but mm-hmm. it's gonna happen. Because yeah, um, money. Nah, not even that. Because I think it's money. Nobody's gonna pay for fe- to see Fury fight, even if he's bro, undefeated. Anthony Joshua. Of course. Of course. Absolutely. Bro, gonna, but Fury, like, even Fury's he was already a, a champion. St- Fury, now, but though, nobody was watching. And nobody cared, bro. But while they came on, and it was paying think, money. Think about this story, though. Talk to me. Two years ago. Fury was fucking 400 pounds depressed and addicted to drugs. Yeah. He was yep. homeless. Yep. You know? Heard about that. And now he just fought for 40 million and beat the best in the world. You don't think that's a story? But he was I, the best of the world because yo, he fucking did drugs. Let me tell you, bro. I, I can promise you. What kind you of drugs was he doing that made that, him the best in the world? <laughs> I don't know. Adderall. <laughs> uh, was that Adderall? No, no, no. Uh, but I promise you, man. I, 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 that was right off the bat. Oh, that's round yeah, three. Sorry. But go I'm, I'm oh, 100%. Shit. I don't watch boxing. I only watch this. Because of Tyson Fury and that story. I only watch it because of Wilder. So what I'm saying is, I think um, Fury has a name of his own, though, bro. Yeah. He, he, had, does, he, he does, does now. Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury. That is bro, actually pretty gangster. It's not like a porn star like, name. You bro. have to be a boxer with that <laughs> yeah, name. Yeah, or a porn fair, star, fair, yeah. Fair, that's fact. Yeah, yeah, for or sure. Or a porn star who fucks But boxing. I will say, though, like, not for nothing, Wilder, like... That motherfucker can't box, man. He's literally like a brawler, one hitter, quitter. Like, Did bro. you see his feet? Like he, he got just, worked, it just bro. wasn't there. He was just waiting for that one yeah. punch, and yeah. that's the only reason he knocked him down the, and um twice in the first mm-hmm. fight because he just got through with that punch. But Fury's a, a champ. Punch. He's always been a champ, so it was like neck. he was prepared for that shit. You know, yeah. so I agree with that in, in, in that aspect. You yeah. think he didn't prepare? He was like, man, I'm going to get some fat dude. I'm not even nah, going to work out th- that. I well, hard. I don't know if Wilder didn't prepare, but Fury definitely did because oh, he yeah. was he was out of shape in the first fight, and bro. he looked good in this fight. This fight, he, he two, outboxed him. Two hundred and seventy pounds Yo, he weighs, this. bro. Did yeah. You guys see this? What's yeah. that? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So. It, Oh, all these stupid conspiracies. Right. Oh, they're saying he's got bags in the gloves. Area of the glove. Now pay attention right about there. Oh, there it, it kind of did. No, it doesn't. Like it. Have you ever, you've never worn boxing gloves? Sometimes you throw a hook, bro, and it hits the front part of the glove. The wrist is bending over 90 degrees. And he's kind of throwing that bag inside and saying, look, there it is. Yo, do you really think if this dude was cheating that it would? I don't know. But is that a che- is that a cheating thing? Yeah, it's for sure a cheating thing. Why is it cheating? Because it, I think it, I could be wrong, but I believe that it like almost like strengthens the impact because there's like more what. Like what does the the bag in the glove do? It, oh, I don't even know what that is. That what they're saying? There's a bag. That's in what the I'm. Glove. That's what yeah. I'm, the thing is that when watching that clip and I've seen it prior, it's like I'm I'm a little confused of why is that cheating? If it isn't that. Isn't that giving him a disadvantage because I, of hitting him with the just the bag and not actually the fist impact? I don't. I, I don't think the that. weight of the gloves is decided before the fight, and right. I think the weight of the gloves impacts how hard versus how fast you can right, move. Right, right, right. Mm. Um, like I remember when Mayweather and McGregor fought, um, they actually went. Uh, it was like eight ounces or ten ounces, which is like really low right. for boxing. Because I think boxing uses like the real big ones, like the 14, yeah, 16. Yeah, 15, 15. Something like that. Um, okay, yeah, I think ten ounce gloves is pretty standard. In I think oh, it's really? because of that transit between uh, MMA and it was like trying to find yeah. like, even. Uh, Yo, honestly, I, I don't even want to like pay those videos attention because I think it's, it's yeah, this it's discrediting a fucking crazy amazing performance, bro. But uh, but uh, while they did come on and say the reason, did you hear what his reason he oh, felt yo, like he, he lost? It's it's actually. Kind of sad and unfortunate that he's making up all these excuses. Take your L, bro. Let me hear it. Take your L. Take your L. Even right, even hold on. Even right away, right after the fight, I lost respect because he was like, "I already came in with my knee messed up." It's like, bro, Uh, if you're injured, just don't even say it. Take that L, bro. Take the L. No. So the thing is, is that he said that he felt very uh, because of the suit he wore. Yeah, he felt very weighted. And he was already kind of like not necessarily tired, but like his the suit, legs. His, his legs, legs were a little yeah. fatigued. Yeah, fatigued. Suit, because he's of the wearing suit. trunks. What do you no, mean? No, 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 no. no, no, no. That. Like this costume. Did you see the on. fucking de- de- nah, the con ass? I did. It's like forty pounds too. They yeah, said it was only forty pounds. That's not that much. He's a heavyweight. 
I mean, yeah, think about it, it this matter. way, bro. He probably weighs two thirty or two. So let's say he weighs two forty. Yeah, you know that's that was like a dumb one, decision. That's one sixth of his weight. Dumb, oh, dumb decision. decision. Absolutely, and fucking it's so stupid. But at looking. the end of the day, bro. No, that's excuses you, though. No, you you, I'm sorry. you were rattled because you got fucking See, rocked by a dude that weighs two hundred seventy pounds, man. He cracked you like uh, everybody's gonna be watching. The I don't thing know is, he had no boxing, legs. He wasn't. He wasn't dude. fighting back. Yeah. See, the only thing I'm not gonna lie though, so he had I, no head. And I he kept saying this. Head. I'm not gonna lie though. The whole time I was saying, I was like, personally, I felt like they shouldn't have stopped the fight because he was still standing and still. But the thing is, that he wasn't nah. throwing punches. I get it. Yeah, I, I'm but not I don't know. I I, like I just personally feel like a fight of this stature. You don't stop it like that right away. It's like you. I let, think you always have to stop that fight, man, because he's never gonna stop. He's unless you knock too much him out cold, and he's already, he was already knocked down twice. Yeah. He's getting smashed in the head without defending himself. Yo, the dude's gonna die, bro. Think of how many stories of boxers dying in the ring in the last he year. Already, he already bro. said he wanted to kill somebody. In the yeah, ring but too. we're not gonna let. No, no, no we're just, not gonna let that. Oh, you stupid, yeah, bro! Yeah, shut up. Yeah, you know, like yeah, well, not even him. no, yeah, yeah. you want yeah. to kill somebody like you bug but, him. I um I agree. I, I, agree. I mean, I, I thought guess. it was a, a really good performance. You know, I, I don't follow boxing. I wasn't a fan of either of theirs, mm -hmm, but I yeah. liked the Tyson Fury story. You yeah. know, it was a big fight, so I watched it. Yeah. And um, I was just I was really shocked at how dominant it was. Yeah. And I uh, it was there just... was there was a clause in the contract. Oh yeah. That um, Wilder gets a guaranteed rematch if he loses. Oh, that, so is that a he's gonna okay. yeah. And at first he wasn't wow. sure if he was gonna exercise, which is whatever. But now, you know, he but now after is, a couple yeah. days he's making excuses, so he's definitely he's gonna fight. Yeah, him. he's gonna fight. It's, gonna it's his three. decision. If but he right, loses, he gets yeah, the choice. To, there's no yeah, right there's because, no opinion yeah. on it. He gets to decide. Yeah, because also um, because technically I personally feel like Fury won the first fight. The problem is the reason why mm -hmm. it was a draw is because he not he got knocked down twice. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's why they made it a draw. When it was a draw, it was a draw last time how often does that happen um honestly chance bro i was about to say probably often especially so? big night big name fights really? bro the because they want because it's the money draws, the money if so the fight close. is so fucking close or in a sense even if it's not they'll make it a draw just so people can watch mm -hmm. it again and pay for it. Yo, and, I feel if like a that. draw happens there's automic rematch no, no not no, always no, no. but you, you but you would want that for it. hell right. brothers you're fighting for the belt it's a draw you're like, we're going to fight again. He didn't beat me. He didn't beat I didn't me. beat him. Like, you literally... You need to fight again. We didn't finish. Like, money. There's no resolution. Money. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy how much money boxers can get. Yeah. But there was also an argument saying that, do you feel that UFC and boxing is... Which one is more entertaining? We actually... UFC. Literally. For me, 100% mm -hmm. UFC. I, I just... You, and like, I... I've watched a lot more UFC, and when you show me UFC and then you show me boxing, I'm just like, all right, so this is UFC without all of this. Hmm. You know? It, it, to me, it's like watching... It'd be like watching basketball if there was no passing. Like it was just <laughs> dribbling and scoring. Just Kobe. Yeah. Just Kobe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, Hashtag yeah. RIP. Yeah. Right, Hashtag Ari Shafir. I mean, I've always been a boxing fan, but... Um, you know, I just started getting into UFC, and I will say it is a lot more entertaining. But the thing is that boxing just has that traditional aspect. Everybody is going to mm. respect it more. A lot of countries Ooh. watch it more. But, um, yeah, and there's more the, money in it right now. I think so. It? Boxing is Yo, there's just, more money, but it's more of a free why market. Why is there so there's much more, more money? Promotions mm. more, think about you. Uh, we're not even calling it MMA, which it is. We're calling it UFC, yeah, which is just the organization. Just the name, yeah. You know, MMA is a sport. Yeah. But UFC has such a monopoly of that sport that yeah. you don't get to see a lot of... You see UFC and that's it. Where boxing, man, there's all these different promotions, right. bro. You know, Connor, so anybody can make it up and fight wherever they want. Yeah. Conor McGregor, who at the height of his career, was his net worth was about $3 million. Mm. He goes into that fight with uh, Mayweather, like a boxing match. Hundred million. Now his now his net worth immediately Crazy. is one hundred twenty five million. Crazy. That's wild. He don't, that's he don't even need to fight anymore. That's the Mayweather effect. Yeah. Think and about nah. That. Mayweather yo, got, like, I heard he's coming back. Well. That's I heard yo, he might Mayweather's, come out of retirement. Don't discredit Connor in that because that's not the Mayweather only. If that's a Connor that's and Mayweather. Yeah. Right. yeah. Honestly, yeah. I love them hyping up that no, show. No, but we're talking about what made that fight. Yeah, even what made that Floyd able to pay Floyd his two hundred mil? The fact that he was fighting Floyd Connor, was going to get that money regardless. He, nah, he's not getting that. He was going to get that money. Pacquiao again, bro. He was going to. Pacquiao, 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 was, gonna, they Pacquiao going was city actually to city. a desired fight, no matter how what. How much did Floyd make for the McGregor fight versus how much he made for me. the pac his average fight? Floyd was going like to make that money. We don't have to just think and he can. Check. I know, I know. I'm just saying. But what I'm going to say is, Floyd was going to make that money regardless, but it helped with the McGregor 
fight because McGregor already has a name, so people was already laughing at. Yeah, Remember, but they went on like a six city tour, like that, all over the world. That press conference and, like, sucked, dick, dude. There were so movie. many of them, and people. Yeah. I don't know, man. Really Maybe sucks. you thought it sucked, but most no, people watch that and got like hype, especially it his sucked, people. Dude. It it had hype behind it, but the actual. Press con- like UFC press conferences are way more entertaining than those boxing ones. Mm. Think about it. Like the UFC press they conference. They were saying some bro, messed up yeah, shit. Wifey, go ahead. Bro. Yo, the U- <laughs> yeah. UFC press conferences is like you have your fighters on a stage mm. and they're able to talk back and forth to each other. People in the crowd ask questions and, you know, like, how are you going to knock him out? How are you going to finish him? Where a boxing press conference, bro, is. This fighter goes up and gives a 10-minute monologue. Now, this fighter goes up and gives a 10-minute monologue. Mm. So, it's just like a rehearsed speech, bro. Like, to me, it was terrible. It was the worst press conference I've ever seen in my life. But there was like six of them. Even worse. I had to endure <laughs> that shit six times. They weren't all so, the same. I got a question. If you, were, if you were to get into MMA right now, which fighting style would you lead with? Yo, I did. Like, 10 years ago, I no. used to do MMA. Yeah. No, get the really? fuck out of yeah, here. Yeah, man. Yeah, dude, I, did I, it for, like, I did it for two days, and I broke my pinky, nah, my pinky nah, toenail, like, and I, I never went back. Bro, I, I, with, <laughs> I was pissed. I've trained, literally, back in the day, <laughs> like, I've trained with fighters that have fought in the UFC, man. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Um, Badass. And it was, not, yo, it was probably only a few times, but hey, there was a point where he enough? was training in the same gym as me, and he ended up going and fighting in the UFC, dude. Badass. Nice. That's pretty cool. Yeah. He was so what, what was your uh, fighting style? Um, bro, like me, like I'm, I'm not like tall, I'm not long, I'm not thin, you know, at the time I was in good shape, but, mm-hmm. um, I was always like just fucking like small, wide mm-hmm. and, uh, strong, man, like, like a wrestling kind of like dirty boxing wrestling, style. Dirty boxing. Yeah. Brawler, you know, like brawler I was really type. Sit, yeah. I can't sit back and fucking finesse you. Mm. It was just like try to close the distance, make it ugly. And right. Hopefully choke The reason out. I ask because a lot of the, the, the UFC Sizing champions or MMA sure. champions are, they started off with Rest- either wrestling, boxing, or mm-hmm. jujitsu. Yo, jiu-jitsu is that shit. But I did jiu-jitsu for a while. That shit's no fucking joke. No, bro. not at all. I got, I, I got I two. Jiu-jitsu is probably the best yes, real life right? self-defense that you can take, bro. Either that, that or wrestling. I don't know. Karl Magar is kind of like. What? Karl Car- Magar. Steven Seagal. Self-defense. Car- so you said self-defense. Yo, I Steven swear Steven Seagal God, will break the shit out of your Steven wrist. Steven Seagal's <laughs> your <laughs> wrist, bro. <laughs> bro. Me, I, <laughs> there you go. You want to fuck Steven Seagal up. Not even right now you're fucking Steven Seagal up. Get out of here. You. Can we reach out to him, I'm like, come on, yo, call him on the line, on the bro. Pull him on the line. Steven Seagal? <laughs> bro, what can you do to my wrist where I'm not getting out of that shit? That crowd will go with two hands. Twist your bro. hand off, hey, dude. Tell him he's wild. Yo, I have. He's wild. Three, <laughs> there's nothing you can do to my wrist. He's bro, like with a your decorated hand. Back black belt to the max. First of all, yeah. he would look Karl at Magar you. Karl is like the ultimate. I feel like personally, I feel like Karl is like one of the ultimate self defense techniques in general because it is Yo, literally using your force they're gonna, against they're, yours and then weapons and not nah. i mean i'm a big fan of jujitsu and boxing period i would do that but right. carbon guard is made specifically for self-defense against but you know what else is made for fucking self-defense like these women's self-defense the classes that are just <laughs> oh, like yeah if you. an attacker comes to you <laughs> smack his ears like that poke him in the eye <laughs> right there kick him in the, kick him in the groin <laughs> like bro if you want, if you try to smack my ears, you know how fast it is to just get closer to somebody and squeeze them and take them down, and bear like, hug bring the it to out. the ground. Yeah, like bro, just think about this. Somebody has your wrist like this. Eh? You're three hundred pounds. You're not able to just do something to let that go, bro. These guys Jump. are masters of pressure Fuck. points. That's what bro, I'm saying. Pressure bro. points. But hold no on. matter what you do, yeah. how big you are, pressure points. Or literally can okay. get you to fucking submit. Fine, but all right, your wrist. I'm not doubting that it will hurt, but they have your wrist. Mm-hmm. If you literally jump in the air and let all your weight fall to the ground, you think they're going to be able to hang on to that wrist the way they are? I'm Absolutely. saying they're going to grab your wrist Absolutely. and they're going to make you fall to the ground because of the, yes. the perfect uh, position. Because your body reacts to just pain just like that. If yeah. your wrist is just snapped and like that, and you're going to just, even if you fall, like regardless of the fact, they'll just. I don't know. Find they want to fall with you? And then yeah, why not? Ground together? Why not? And a fucking jujitsu expert's going to choke him to death? That's okay. what I'm saying. The whole point of jujitsu is like, if anybody takes you to the ground and you're a jujitsu oh, yeah. black belt, you're fucked. You're fucked. And what can somebody do to you that's going to stop you from going to the ground? What can anybody... Say it again? If, if somebody has your wrist in any situation, what can stop you from just getting mm. yourself to the ground? How? 
Aside from a police officer that has you in cuffs, mm. yanking both your wrists up in the middle of your back, but it usually takes a few of them and your compliance to get in that situation. Mm. We're gonna need a Krav Maga expert. Yeah, we gonna. Nah, there's gonna be somebody listening <laughs> that knows Krav Maga is gonna fuck me up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to say, you lucky Jody didn't pull up. She does Krav Maga. Walking through like the mall, like, yo, I heard what you said about Krav Maga, motherfucker. Listen, I feel you. Can go learn First of all, we're gonna get Steven Seagal in the fucking line because you want to fucking... say I will. Nah, man, ball. that's like the top of the no, top, not, man. It is. That's why. Like secret yeah. agents use, bro. Yes. Yeah, secret and, agents and have and guns too, And bro. marine uh, fighting. Mil- yeah. Marine Any top, like, or whatever. Right. With that. Ops. In the military, they spies. teach you unarmed combat. Yeah. The first sure. thing they teach, bro, they teach you jujitsu. That is shit. They teach you how to choke people yeah, out. They teach you how to do arm bars. Like, that's, that's why I did it. That's what the basic jiu-jitsu was real. unarmed combat training is in our U.S. military. Right. That's level one. I'm telling you, when you get to like level 50 and like there's like Time only to six gun away there, and like there's you're like, like masters. Of okay. If war. that's truly the case, bro. And why are why are there not <laughs> people we need you. in the UFC that are what just is military grabbing style wrists like that? <laughs> why is there not one There's UFC no money fighter in that. that's a crowd of guys specialist, tickets. bro? It doesn't sell tickets, There's not man. one. You know how much I'd pay to see somebody grab a wrist <laughs> and flip you over and just be like, tap out. Why? Listen, here we no? go. We got the list of military martial arts style. Right. Did you ever see somebody tap out to a pressure point, bro? Oh, facts. <laughs> I guess not. Yeah, like, all right, I give. No, of course. The Israeli give. Defense Force uses Krav Maga. Bang. Where do they rank on the uh, best armies <laughs> in the world? <laughs> Honestly, I'm pretty sure that. <laughs> When's the last time you met someone from Israel that could fuck you up? Dude, they're like, literally, they kill people every day. Everybody in Israel. We don't want to talk about that. More at, people at than Americans? Age, um, at the age of 18. Daily, average, probably. Uh, I bet you fucking. <laughs> I think in Israel. I bet you there's more deaths in Chicago than there is in Israel every day. If you're in Israel. It's all about they're killing Palestinians. Oh, shit. They, that dude just got fucked up. In Israel, you have okay. to join the military hold on, hold for on, two years. This. Bro, no, no shit. Yeah, no matter what. that is Krav Maga, bro. And like, that's scary because. Jesus, bro. That's a rare naked choke. Go down. Yes, go a down. rare oh, naked look, choke. UFC fighters. <laughs> Fight his experience, Marine okay. Corps. Marine okay. Corps. That is a rare naked choke, bro. That's a jujitsu move. That's Why the shit that got Conor McGregor all fucked up. Yeah, he got. Yo, you Conor McGregor lost that. Yeah. <laughs> because he's behind him in the rare. <laughs> oh, the rare. rare I thought you said rare. Said rare. Oh, he Whoa. goes rare Pokemon. Somebody actually pulled it off. <laughs> 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 that never happens. <laughs> so the rare. elusives. Naked choke. Oh, Jesus. But yeah, guys. I don't know. Crop. Again, man, Krav Maga is not it. Show, can, can you look up? I want to see a Krav Maga. Like, how do you say it? Magra? Like Tim Maga. 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 Like Krav Maga. 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 Yeah, like Maga. 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 Krav Maga. 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 No, 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 no. <laughs> like, pull up a Krav Maga match or tournament or something. Bro, it's no joke. You got to see how this fight, works. Right, fight what do you think is the seconds. ultimate fighting oh style? Man. What is the ultimate fighting style? Look at this. is the guy. Check out Jitsu, bro. Yeah. Actually, I, w- I, I did listen, it, and I, I know I, I actually say, wrestled with a black belt. I would say, my yeah, bro. Ass, bro. And you're just like you're so right, submitted. Yeah, you're just Can't like nothing. there's nothing, bro. All this dude did, right? I I rolled around with a black belt, and all he did was put his weight on me, and I was fucking done. Yeah. <laughs> it's no right, joke. So this is is this Krav, uh, Krav Maga? Is it? Yeah, man, yeah. it's literally. He mad. says end, end of fighting. fighting. Yeah, you yeah, got go, it. go, go, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, my bad, my bad. This video, man. That's funny. And the fight in three seconds is a three and a half minute video. There's ten fights. <laughs> I mean, with with any yeah, style, it's, though. It's Thirty <laughs> seconds. Yeah. There's a hundred fights. <laughs> All right. Oh, he's just this pushing guy. him out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this Krav Maga. Boom. Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah that's mouth. straight up in the neck. Grab your. This is like. Bang! This over. is like poetry in motion. Ooh. Like you have to be like one with yourself to do these. Krav Maga is really just based on <laughs> your. Okay, it's really based on your force. So, well, not your force. I'm sorry. The other person's. Um, what do they call it? Like their force. Their. Wow! Uh, look at the way he pushed his face. <laughs> <laughs> You're already looking at it like a real shit. Boom. I don't know. Bang! Oh. I'm breaking your jaw right there, homie. Oh, yeah, but that's that's just good boxing. That's just boxing. Yeah. The but reason why I asked that question is just knowing where to have your hands at all times. Like if you're in this position, boom, boom, one, two. You know, it's just like. Well, the reason why fat. I originally asked that question because a lot of the UFC champs started off with jujitsu and boxing. So that's why I was like, See, if you had to choose one fighting actually, style, I think the best, um, the most it? dominant MMA. Um, Athletes are probably have a base of wrestling. Base of wrestling. That's really because like as WWE, a, but the champs though started the with the champs, bro. Well, started start, with John the, Jones. I think it was. Yeah, think, it was, think of all the champs right now. John Jones. Yeah. Um, collegiate wrestler or high school wrestler. Yeah. But it has a wrestling base. He's yeah. He did. He did. Uh, he did. Stipe. Yeah. Um, not really the great wrestler, but Daniel Cormier was the heavyweight champ for a while. Mm-hmm. 
uh, Olympic wrestler. Yeah. Then it would go John Jones at 205, and then 185, bro. I don't know if you fuck with UFC, mm -hmm. but Israel Adesanya. He's, Adesanya, bro, oh he's fucked. Yo, oh, he's a fucking I, yeah. I think it's pronounced fucking Adesanya. Problem. Yeah, I don't know, but I, I say, I say you all should know up. that, not, not me. Not me, you, no, Adesanya. You look like him, I don't look like him. He's not Jewish, <laughs> man, fuck <laughs> it. Is he? Yo, he's not. He was born in um, New like Zealand him. or some shit. Well, he might have been. Yeah, I think you're right. He's born in Nigeria, but he's from New Zealand. Oh, okay, possibly. Yeah, possibly. he's got a sick accent, bro. Yeah, it's um, a yo, Nigerian he's actually, New Zealand accent sound like that. Well, there's yo, a lot of Nigerians in London, and he, they have that British. He's accent actually too. nasty, but he's a, he's a striker. He's not really a wrestler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. then you got 170. With Kamar Usman is a wrestler. Mm. Yep. 155. Right. Yeah, I think Khabib it is, a is a fucking wrestler, dude. Yeah, oh, yo, the there's court. something in the water in fucking the water in um Dazakstan. These guys live a, a life that we just don't understand, bro. Yeah, man. They're Creed, just, man. Just, yo, man. Just, <laughs> dude, Rocky and Creed. There's man. something, bro. It's worse than that. Like I've seen yeah. documentaries on where he's from. Yeah, bro. They just live in the mountains and they're just fighting. Dude, he, That's all they do. Had, Khabib's dad had him. Wrestling a bear, bro, when he was like six Gina. or seven years old. Wasn't like a baby a, bear, though? A cup. Yeah. Six or seven years <laughs> old? You're a child. So you're telling me you a can wrestle a bear? A baby bear us on right now. Like, what? Yeah, I don't know about right now. No, a baby bear, though, their All weight four of us is against ridiculous, against a bear. Bro. Bro. Though they don't know yeah. how to One, attack, but their weight is crazy. Alexander Volkanovsky is a, uh, um, he might not be a wrestler, but 135 and 25, the champ is an uh, Olympic wrestler, bro. Hmm. Wrestling is just that shit because think about what it is. Bro. The whole concept of wrestling is to be able to take somebody down. At the end, bro, if you can outbox me, mm. but I can outwrestle you, I'm going to get to you. You're going to hit me on the way in, but those two shots have to end me. That's true, too. You know what I mean? And it's very that's hard true. to end somebody that's up like this just getting into you. Mm. So I feel like a wrestler is... And if you're not a wrestler, bro, you're not stopping a wrestler from taking you down. Unless you're a boxer and can keep that reach and keep that distance. But how, I mean? how far can you back up, though? You Eventually, you're going to run out of space. There you go. You don't have to back up. You, you go in circles around. Yeah, in circles. Uh, what I'm saying is a the, eventually that ring gets cut off. You know what I mean? That's And that's why, bro. Think about it. Like, that's why wrestlers are all the champs. They fight mm. better strikers than them. Yeah. You know, the, the striker is always better at striking than wrestler. Mm. Um, I hear that. Okay. But And it's like once they take you to the ground, the whole thing about wrestling mm. is not letting somebody up. That's, right, that's right, how right. you win. You know, you get them on their back, you pin them. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I feel like that's probably the most dominant thing. It's not the most flashy, mm. but when you're on top of somebody and they can't get up, it's really easy to beat them up. What you submit, it's a rap, man. You in a strong ass chokehold is a rap for you. <laughs> that's where jujitsu sure. comes in too, because yeah, the wrestler I gets do on fuck your with back. Though. Now you I got two friends that are purple belts right now. No that's joke. probably a tough belt to get, man. Yeah, no, no, no. That's crazy. Man. You know what's nice though is like when you when you meet people that are actually really this good at martial arts, they're not they don't do that whole tough guy routine. No. You know, like there's there's nothing to prove there's no need. when they're that secure and like there's just nothing. <laughs> motherfucker to prove. like even me, I go out places and I have my concealed carry and a motherfucker try to test me, I'm just gonna laugh in your face. <laughs> <laughs> it's just one of those things. Like when I know if I can whoop your ass or I can just shoot you right here and be okay. Shooting I'm is the way to go, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, I mean it's not shooting a lot of people say like go. shooting somebody is on, is on some bitch shit. No, but I went for my concealed carry for a reason. Yeah, for like, motherfuckers like you. Yeah, I'm not gonna fight you. I got way too much to lose right now. And you Period. fuck me up. Look at you. <laughs> or that. Look at you, man. Like, I mean, I can literally fight you and, be, and hold my own, but at the same time, why? Why would I get yeah. bruises on my face where I could just fucking lay you out I'm right not now? Not even bruises. What if, you know, bro, you never know what care. happens. You fight somebody. What if they hit you? They do knock you out. You smash your head on something. Now you're dead, bro. Now you're fucking Kids, dead. Not nah. worth it. My biggest thing is it's just like. Don't I'm, hurt anybody. Just don't I'm just not going to argue with you. So when you, when you are a martial artist or you have your concealed carry, you're, you're just going to laugh at people's <laughs> face. Said, or fuck. you have your concealed carry. <laughs> Basically, you're concealed carry. It Khabib. is your fucking you're right, man. I'm Khabib. It is your fucking right, man. Get your shit right what away. Here? Yo, earlier <laughs> you said something about population control. I wanted to circle back to that. Because I know you were saying that what's the easiest way. Um, to have a form of population control hmm. and it was like a mass like an outbreak like some kind of illness but really I think one of the biggest ways of population control is preventative in the sense hmm. of fucking um, like abortions Planned Parenthood like well, China lot. already do the uh, if you have a girl, you can only have like max two girls, and then what? they and then you have somebody, to adopt them some shit, right? Some somebody shit. told me that they lifted that recently. I oh, I never okay, confirmed I that, but I, somebody but, was telling me. It's yeah, funny that well. like um, you know, because most people equate like liberals and the left with mm -hmm. being pro minority, you know, and equality, mm -hmm. but and they're also like pro um pro abortion, you know, a pro choice. What if you want to word it that right, way? Right, right, right. It is what it is. Um. 
But a lot of them don't realize they kind of contradict each other because I'm almost certain that Planned Parenthood, was, which is a big like abortion advocate, right? That's mm-hmm. where they perform abortions at. Is they were um, implemented and designed to abort black babies. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And and I, the 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 percentage of abortions based on minorities versus you know mm-hmm. white people. Mm-hmm. The minorities is way up, you know. Yeah. The minority number, the percentage of abortions that are done by minorities is much higher. Than we ours. like the fuck, man. No condoms. <laughs> no, no, no. But it's on some just... real shit though, um, it, it's really fucking sad. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. But one thing that was kind of um, that was brought to my attention is that melanin is actually on the market. What melanin? Actual melanin, like black people, like what makes our skin is actually on the market for black about two black. grand, like a gram of it. It's how, about two grand a how pop. Black, how black will I get with a gram of melanin? And, <laughs> so you have to buy enough how, of it but hold on. to be able how to. How many grams do I have to take to get a big dick? <laughs> <laughs> and then how many Yo, grams to man. play basketball? <laughs> and be able to <laughs> dunk. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? How many grams of melanin? But when I see in that... Oh, that's and, a genius advertisement no bro. real talk but i well, see advertise side, on this effect, show. side effects may include baby mamas <laughs> child, <laughs> child support see look at that they even got the density the melting problems. point the boy of melanin the shit that makes our fucking color of our skin is Why on is the market is, so when you tell me that a lot of black babies are being aborted i feel like that's part they use, I mean, even when you abort, you could still take that melanin and use that and oh, put it on the so market. Oh, you think they're saving these black baby Absolutely. And saying, hey. Absolutely. Absolutely. Wait, you're saying the melanin? Keep... Wow. I mean, a lot of the stuff from what yeah, I hear. Yeah, where else are they getting it? Where else are you getting melanin from? It's from abortions. Oh, my God, bro. Yeah. We're going deep. And yeah, and that shit fucked me up. From... I, that shit brought How me to my head. Yeah, yeah that's that's rabbit a... hole. Yeah. Because that's. I mean, the only thing I could think of is, and again, unless I'm just completely ignorant. Twenty-eight dollars a gram. What is it there for? You go. Hey, can you find out what it's for, yep. though? Because if people you can't just take it, and your skin's getting darker. I don't know color. how that it works. Work. Well, hold on. But hold on. you can I literally you buy melanin. melanin, melanin There's shit melanin, that sorry. you can ingest you that you, changes I like the tone of your skin, line bro. Of fucking melanin, and then fucking. What is that? Um, iron. If you get, if you have mm-hmm. low iron, right, your your skin t- starts to turn pale. Yeah. So if you're super pale and you take a lot of iron, your skin will get some color. No. If you take melanin. You get black. So I think you can definitely <laughs> ingest shit that affects the way your skin tone yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. But the fact that simply, even be beyond that, is like the fact that it's on the fucking market. You can't get melanin anywhere unless from an, a black person, right? Is that right? So that, it's on the that, market. I don't know. I'm That's assuming. Do we know that? It could be like you it's know, it's from a plant. Yeah, <laughs> they they find, they found out it grows in cow shit. But we haven't heard Freddy's any of so that. Proud of we found out it's a fucking fungus. We got that shit at the <laughs> Chinese <laughs> fucking market, They say we man. produce DMT in our brain, right? Yeah, but then yeah, it's yeah. also found in a fucking mm. bark in so South America. So where else can we find melon? That's actually that's, a, yeah, that's, 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 that's the that's question, question right there. Ask, that's yeah. super interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know, that, that's why. Like, a dark brown, black pigment occurring in the hair, skin, and use of... Use oh wait oh I can't read that too well but here here counts that counts okay. bro so from a black person is where you get it For, I mean oh wait the iris of yes. the eye I mean right. do I have an iris what's an iris the black part yeah or is the brown part no that's a pupil yeah. yeah I don't know Andrew, you got some but nice regardless blue eyes. of the fact that. That it's Thanks, on man. the market I and I don't you. know but what I'm trying well, to say is the is two that, questions to be answered are where does it yeah. come from and what is it used for yeah and a lot of the abortion of of of, of babies. Um, from what I'm understanding is that those babies are being used to take out melanin and being sold. Yo, abortion is fucked up. So man. you're telling me that we're uncovering a conspiracy where it's not a conspiracy, bro. He just knew it and he googled it. Th- th- this is fact. So <laughs> we're saying he literally looked fact. it up. So melanin we know that we're getting the melanin, but we know that we're getting the melanin from oh, the no, aborted no. black babies. <laughs> oh, <laughs> ah, we don't yeah, know yeah. that. That's a conspiracy. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, absolutely, bro. Absolutely, that's, that's absolutely. absolutely. But like, I mean, where else is it? Put it this way. That's yo. You donate melanin, like it's no. like a blood drive. Can you go and like from, donate? From something? what I know, you can't. Hey, we donate. need answers, bro. Yeah. We need answers, man. Where does melanin? He come got that from? vape. He don't understand what the <laughs> fuck's going on. <laughs> he got that weed. Yeah, he's like, but <laughs> back, bro. But no, it's some real. Sh- but it's really some real shit though, and it made me trip out. Like when I heard that black, um, the lower class or the black community, whatever, has more rate, um, a higher rate of abortions. Way and higher. then I and I looked into it, and they were like, but that's also probably in line with like, um. 
just a lower e- class. E- economic, economic, you know, yeah. demographics too. I think, too, yeah, you know? I think it would be if you look I at. I hate the word lower class. I know, man, but like in the cities that that have the high abortion rate, right? I bet you could like trace more, it. More people, a lot of a lot of poverty in the cities, you know? right? Um, I'm just wondering if like you go to like. Utah, right? And like you try to go to Planned Parenthood to abort your baby, and they're like, "Well, there's a lot of people in this state that don't, that can't have kids, and like there's not a mm. lot of people, so we can just give your baby to someone else." Where when you look in like uh, a big city, they're like, "Well, fuck, man, there's like tons of people trying to." Yo, that get rid Planned of their Parenthood kid. actually has a drive-through over there. Sure. <laughs> oh, <shit>. oh <laughs> my god! Crazy, you know? It's Yo, like one we... of those like quick oil changes, fifteen minutes oh, and done. Shit. Oh my it's god! Dude. Just sit in, sit in there. You know, my, out. yo, my the thing with abortion for me is. Uh, I used to have a hard, hard line against it, it's saying it's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. I don't agree with it. And I think I still I still hold that same stance. Like, to me, in my eyes, it is 100% wrong. I'm not going to sugarcoat it and say that it's a, a sack of cells or... Yeah. You're killing a baby, in my eyes. You're, you're killing something that is going to be a human, crawling, crying, right. eating, walking baby. The only mm-hmm. glimpse of understanding that I could have if it doesn't have a heartbeat yet nope not even that it's the fact that it's happening in somebody's actual body Hmm. you know like it's whoever's pregnant the woman in this situation it's literally in her body so for my to for me to take my choice and try to Mm. you know put that on her body would be like taking away her liberty, you yeah, know, and, for sure. And that's and the I biggest just, thing. What they're so saying I is feel that like it's got to be her choice. I men, can't fuck with that. They're saying that men are making rights on women's bodies. Right. Right? I don't yeah. think it's right, and so, I feel like it's more complex than a right or wrong. Like we can't say that like somebody who's like two months pregnant scraping out some cells is the same thing as somebody who's like seven and a half months in basically giving birth to the baby and then killing it once it's out. Yeah, like I, it's, I don't think either is okay. I again, man, I feel like. Bro, imagine having something in your body that you mm. like literally inside your body that you no longer want there and being forced to keep it there for a set time. I guess I agree with you 100%. I guess it's my tough, thing man. is that I would never be in a situation where if like I I'm man if like if I got my girl pregnant tomorrow I'm like, we're having it we're well, keeping it. You're never gonna be pregnant though. You can't really put yourself into her shoes. Exactly, and that's why I'm saying that I would never fight to take that right away. Right. But I would never in my circle if it was in my right. if so I had never, a say I, in it. So you it think would, abortion is wrong, but ultimately it has to be decided by the pregnant person. Exactly, and that's how I feel about it, man. I like I hope you don't make that decision because I hope you share my view that you're just killing a baby. You know, like there's really no. I don't see a different way. At the end of the day, if you don't, if you don't do the abortion, that that will be a baby. That will become a baby. Right. You know, like a little baby with a diaper that could fucking cure cancer. Who the fuck knows what that baby could do? Probably not gonna do shit. Probably just gonna go to school, get a job, die at seventy. But it going, could be that special person. Going back to like it being in like um, you know cities and like uh, you know poverty stricken areas. These are also single parent households right i'm sure a lot of them are exactly i guarantee you a lot of these people going up for these abortions are products of these single family households and maybe it's a good way to not perpetuate the same stuff and give these people the opportunity to have a second chance and maybe get out of that situation before they actually settle down with a family do you You think these families if they were to get one thousand dollars a month every year for the rest of their life do you think, or every month for the rest of their life, do you think it would help them? It depends on the person. Because I think that there are some people who are just broke-minded, and no matter how much money they have, they're going to spend it all. I and was trying to get you to just say and yes, so I can <laughs> go for Andrew Yang. Yeah. <laughs> but there are some people that are that are smart, and they know how to manage their money. They're going to take that and use it to better their situation. Right, right. I also feel like if you get money for free, you're not going to value it as much. That's you know what I'm saying? Point. So I feel like once it's mm. free, and you get that shit, you're not... What the fuck? It's free money. You and especially you do with a thousand it. If you earn dollars. that shit, you're going to respect it. For the most part. For the most part. See, but I if I get $1,000 right now for free, I mean, me this. and my mindset, I'm going to do the right thing. Because I've always been. But work, anybody Freddy? else is just going to wild the fuck out. Maybe. Most people are. Most people I, are going to wild Especially when you're young. That's to say, bro. I, I, but hear what, me out. Yeah, what, what do you do for work? Pretty much what you do with the IT and stuff like that. Do you love that? No. Okay. If you... If you were able to live, right, mm-hmm. without having to have that job, 
Like if you knew that okay. your basic necess- your basic necessities were met and you didn't need to work at a job that you don't enjoy just in order to like put a roof and food in your mouth. Do you think that that would allow you the freedom to maybe do something with your time that you want to do, like create something, maybe start a business that Absolutely. you could generally better the, your life and people around you? Okay. Do you yeah. think a thousand dollars enough is enough? Or that, that's not that's not enough? the question though. That's mm-hmm. not the question. Mm-hmm. The no. question is if your basic human needs are met, would, would you, you be need, a better contributor yes. to you and the people around you? For me personally, yes, absolutely. Because yeah. I would do what I would want, be creative, and right. do something else. And I think that's that's how most people are. I don't think most people are just going to take it and blow it. I don't know. You know, I, I, don't, I truly I don't believe, believe that. lose a lot of the innovation. Um, see, I, I don't even think that's I, the case. I feel like when like you earn so it, you many, innovate that more. There's so those many Those people businesses. are still going to do those things. These innovators and these great mm. minds... Not having, because p- mm. innovators and great minds don't come from you fixing IT servers and being like, you know what? Even though I hate this, I'm going to innovate and make this incredible. That's right, but now it comes from a passion, bro. Mm. So like you, I'm never going to be going to be passionate. I'm never going to be. I'm probably not. But I we think need. But we need. No, them no, no. To, we to don't, bro. I, there's going to be automated cashiers. We have yeah. them now. Walmart, and they're coming. <laughs> they're becoming more and more popular, yep. bro. That's going to be the way it is. Yeah. But those cashiers now, had they had, um, if they don't need that job to live, if they can just live, that cashier might want to be a guitarist. That cashier might want to teach kids with autism how to paint. You'd never fucking know, bro. That cashier has a passion of some sort, and if they could turn that passion into an income, then they'd be mm. fine. How do you that, find it much if nobody's more. working? What's that? How do you fund it if nobody's working? Well, we're not here to debate like how the I'm just being <laughs> you're not I'm here. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm with you though. I don't really how, like how it happens. I don't like that type of conversation now because I'm not here to defend UBI. I'm just here to say that it could work. You know, like, mm-hmm. and I think because the first argument is that people are going to take this money and piss it away on drugs. And now I feel like we talked about that. You feel that's not the case, and you're just reacting with another hmm. rebuttal. For I no feel reason. like there has to be some type of stipulation before you get to earn that. Like you have to. Make there, some, hey, there is being an American, bro. You you don't think that somebody has to be contributing to get that? I think it makes up for the over contributions that we're doing now. <laughs> what do you mean by that? I mean that you wake up right in your life. You mm-hmm. work for. Eight hours a day out of twenty four, and you sleep for eight. So you're basically saying, if there's no commute, if there's no commute at all, one third of your life is spent on yourself and your mm. family. That's mm. already a fucked up system in my eyes. You know, that's not mm. a way to live, man. You know, one third of your life is the only time you get to enjoy, as like the standard for Americans. Some mm-hmm. of us, you know, work less. Work, some of us work, work more, more, bro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, some of us sleep less, or whatever the case is, man. There's only twenty four hours in a day, mm. so. I think, and now think about that. You work that hard just to live, and the government's taking how much of our dough? <laughs> bro. 25%? Yeah. Just well, cool. That's a lot of money, bro. That's a lot of, that's a big percentage to be mm-hmm. taken from you. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. It, dude, so I, it's crazy to it, think that we and again, revolted if you, for 2% tax, and now we pay like almost 30. If yeah. you really want to yeah. understand how that's funded, Yo, look up Yang's policies, bro, because he outlines that shit. You yeah, don't need me to explain it, and I'm going to do an injustice explaining it. No, we're on our yeah, podcast, no, we want did, you yeah. to explain it, because you're really hip on that shit. So. Well, like, I'm not super hip. I, I know enough, and I I think the big part is that I think that that stigma that you just said, like, mm-hmm. oh, people are going to just piss it away. I think I have a little more faith in humanity, man. Like, I don't think you would piss it away. I don't right. think you would piss it away. But, I but think, that's because you know what? No, you wouldn't piss But you guys are just three. I know you guys. We're friends, but we're also three random group of friends that are here I but could, three random groups doing a podcast yeah, who wants more who wants vision. to do it get three random people yo but we're, we're three random people that are we're doing, not because, random well, some hold people on, hold on. Have right, a, we're not random yeah. but we're doing a podcast because we can afford to you know there podcast, was a time, the barriers of entry listen, of a podcast well now they are yeah but there was a okay. time in my life yeah. where I couldn't afford to because I A either never had time because I was working more True or B couldn't True afford a place to do it or buy the mics and I just, I genuinely feel, bro, if people, if you don't have to worry about your house and where you're getting money, you have so many more options. Even if you just want to work for a good company and work hard, you can go do that and you don't have to take the job 
with the shitty company that you're going to hate every day. Because you can say, listen, I don't need this to survive. So I can go be more productive for somebody else or for somewhere else. You know what we need, like, fucking facts from from Canada? They get free health care and whatnot Mm. for the most part. We got to look at their their Mm. living situations. Is it it better than the U.S. in in the instance? Because if you're getting free health care, you don't have to worry about shit. I fucked a girl from Canada and she was just like... Like didn't give a fuck. Like you don't have a condom. I was like no, I don't have a condom. She was like, yeah, oh, don't worry about it. I was like, no. <laughs> what the fuck you mean? Don't worry about it. Oh, what? Canada. Yeah, but it's like, oh, we have hey, free health insurance. Girl. Respect. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? But look at their life. You know what I mean? Yeah. Their life. Um, it's kind of like what we life. talked about last time too. Like, if you don't want to take, you know, like we we're talking about paying for, it, and like if you if you want to live off the grid mm. and just live off the land, you can't even do that. You know what I mean? Because you have to pay taxes. Yeah. Even if you refuse to use any government type of mm. um, assistance, you know, don't use government roads. Don't fish in government waters. Mm. Don't, you know, use hospitals. Don't do any of that. If you want to just go live in the woods, chop down a tree with, you know, fucking a knife you made with a rock right. and live there and fish and hunt, you, you can't do that. They're still mm. going to want taxes from you. Mm-hmm. Which you can't is, do fucking they're basically, anything without you. So you're basically right. forced... To give up some of your time to go earn money. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's just, that's why I feel like I, that's what makes me buy into like a UBI, like a universal basic income type right. of situation where I don't see a problem, man, with every, and at the end of the day, man, if the, these people should be able to use that money on whatever the fuck Absolutely. they want. It doesn't matter to me. I feel like, you know, we are, we already have like this, like back and forth uh, immigration is like a big topic. Mm. I bet you once a UBI becomes a real thing, they're going to be really, really strict about how many people they let in. If like you're guaranteed a thousand dollars a month just for being a citizen, like mm. they're going to mm. have to like really, well, uh, which they should, you know, I- I'm cool with that. You know, like there, there's some stipulations. You have to be 18. You have to have a valid, you have to be a U.S. citizen. You know, you can't mm. just be living here. You have to be a U.S. citizen. Mm. And I think the process of becoming a U.S. citizen is pretty fucking difficult now to where they don't have to change it. Yeah. You, you think? Know? Yeah, I mean, I feel like it's just a line. You wait in line. You just gotta wait your turn. Whereas, like, you they might want more like a merit based thing if they if they were given if they were paying people to live there. Yo, the whole see that's something that I don't know, man. How I feel about that because sometimes I know pragmatically, like, we need a border. You know, mm. you can't just let everybody go in one place. I agree with that. I mean, I'm not a Trump fan, but I agree with the fact that um, yeah, they need some regulation. There's, there needs to be some rules. Absolutely. But then a, a part of me also feels like, man, when people say I'm proud to be an American, that's why the fuck did you do? <laughs> you were born here. Like, you didn't accomplish anything. Touche. You know what I mean? Like, your mom, you just happen to be lucky enough to be, be born, born in this fucking part of the world. Mm-hmm. You had no, di- you, you aren't. You didn't earn this shit. You didn't travel here. I almost respect an immigrant more than I do an American. Oh, yeah, because mm-hmm. they take a Because they're of like, yo, the I have. know the risks. I know that I could get shot crossing this border. Mm-hmm. I know that these coyotes could fucking attack me and kill my family. Mm-hmm. But I love America so much, and I want to be a part of that country that I'm going to go and risk all that to contribute to America. Mm. Hmm. That's real. You can tell me you're proud to be an American if you've done all that. That's real. But no disrespect, you guys, you know, so. The fuck? You were born here. Good. God bless you, man. And I ain't mowing no lawn for $20. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, There's sorry. 300 million people that were born. We, is everybody more special <coughs> than somebody that happened to be born? Mm. Think about if you live in fucking El Paso, Texas. How far is that from the Mexican border? Mm. You know, like how and, and how how uh, heavily influenced is the Mexican culture in that part of Texas? Mm. They're basically Mexicans. Oh, yeah. yeah for oh, sure. Yeah. Oh, right? yeah. Like, that's oh, Mexi- yeah. A lot of Texas has Mexican right. culture built in. And it's because it's so close, but because yeah. of some imaginary border, bro, like we hold our life at such a different, a higher value than them. So, and I just feel like we didn't, you know, like, but I don't know, man, it's tough. Don't we could have just as easily been born anywhere else. But I, right. I, I, but don't you think that, it, let's go back to that UBI. If, if they say tomorrow or, you know, Andrew Yang gets elected 10 years from now and he's like, all right, let's do it. Everybody gets $1,000 a month. Don't you think every less fortunate person in the world is going to be like, all right, how do I get there? And then I think they, they get, do that now. All I'm saying with $1,000, I'm flipping that shit. <laughs> I'm trying to make that shit too great. Hey, man. For sure. <laughs> Yo, think about Everybody wants to have the opportunity. Right. Yeah. Mo- for, all right. So the only time that doesn't help America 
it's for the like the one percent the people that are rich as fuck because mm. that thousand dollars doesn't it probably just sits in their account that's it but for most of us you think bro, there should be a cutoff no like if you make too much nope, you don't get it then there's a stigma you know, mm. then there's like a, mm, he's poor, he gets that. All right, now you're at, you know, now a stigma, bro. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Anytime I, I you're hanging with that. a group that doesn't get that, you're the guy that's poor. Oh, yeah. You know? And then it, jujitsu that's has to come into play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> I just, don't you think that once we offer that, that's something that oh, is known that we that offer, that everybody wants to come? What do, how do we do that once that everybody wants to come? Everybody wants to come now in That's general. What I'm saying. Everybody wants to come. But out. then, but like really, like everyone's gonna be like, well, fuck it. I'll just I'm gonna get a thousand dollars a month once I get there. I'll figure it out. Oh no. No, America is already better off than a lot of countries. They want to yeah. come regardless, even if there's a thousand to two dollars extra on our. Pay- and think well, about it when when, when they're able to figure out where their money comes from, right? For most of the people, you know, almost everybody do like ninety nine percent of people. You get an extra thousand dollars a month. What are you doing with it? Saving it. Nah, be serious, bro. I'm serious. What are you doing with it? For the most part, I would agree with him, but I'm flipping it. Because I just know, I know motherfuckers. Probably put it in like tax. Let's just say, uh, I know people. You hear this? No, I do that. I do that. I'll put it in taxes. (laughs) That first thousand on some real shit, I already... You're such a... (laughs) I'll just offer the state more taxes. See if anybody sells short this month. On some real shit, I'm putting it in the streets. I'm putting it in the streets. Into stocks. Because that's guaranteed money. When you buy stocks, does that stimulate the economy? Mm. It does, yeah. Okay. Whatever you're going to buy. Flip it into the streets, it stimulates the economy to a certain <laughs> right. You know what? Exactly, but, but stocks, most people will go go to the movies now. You know, you got some... All right, now we can afford to go to a Patriots game. Okay. More we can go to the, more yo, money more here. money is oh, being spread sure. and reinvested back into these small businesses. That is Even true. big businesses, man. Absolutely. So, like, it's not really disappearing. You know, like, yeah, maybe some, like, VATs will be added to some businesses and... You know, taxes for like Amazon will go up to my, they might have to pay <clears> some. <throat> but think about this like, I don't feel bad for companies like that paying more in taxes or like a company like Stop and Shop, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Think about this you work at a cash register, they have to pay you your wage, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. They have to pay you unemployment insurance, uh, insurance for you. Yeah. They have to give you some health coverage, they have to give you some PTO. Right. This, this all this is all things they're paying and they're written off as taxes, so they're not paying taxes on those wages. They replace you with a robot. <laughs> they don't pay taxes that you know for that robot. Oh. They don't have to pay um, unemployment insurance for that robot. They don't have to pay benefits for that robot. So this is all. Yeah, something just beeped. <laughs> all a ton of money that they're saving because they're. Um, taking away jobs from Americans. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So if you're really like fucking switch it. You got another one? Memory, his memory cards. Oh, well, fuck it. It is what it is. If um, you know, they're, they're taking <laughs> this right opportunity <laughs> from Americans, you know what I'm saying? So like if they're benefiting from laying off Americans, mm. isn't it only fair that as a proud American, like they should have to put that money back into our economy, mm. back into our pockets? Mm-hmm. Mm. So that's that, that's Andrew Yang's whole philosophy. All of these companies, man, I fuck with that. I fuck are, with that. are going hard into automation, bro. To mm. where the only benefit to automation is to not pay a person to do the job. So it's not fucking you know, like Mexicans hopping the border taking our jobs. So it's fucking uh, like these automation you companies. So what do you feel stop? about like minimum wage like shooting up right now? It's just added an extra dollar in Rhode Island. You know what I'm saying? We're so, going to 15 yearly. Like we're raising. Oh yeah, like 75. Uh, it's 11 man. something now. I don't, I don't even think about minimum wage, you broke bitch. <laughs> like, what's minimum oh, wage? But think about it. If you're giving everyone a <laughs> Yo, thousand a month, on no one's going to McDonald's. Nobody's nah, working at McDonald's but, if, if they're all getting that a thousand makes, a month. Yo, again, right. bro, nobody is going to be working at McDonald's anyways because it's automated, dude. You walk it's into McDonald's now. Somebody's got to cook. No, mm, bro. Nah. If you don't think a robot arm yeah. can take fries, <laughs> measure that yeah. by the ounce, dump it in the fry. It's going to happen, bro. Bro, it's that's how their shit works now. You I mean, it's not even real food. You put in what you're cooking. You don't even put it in. That shit just happens, bro. You're kind of just like watching it. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Yeah, dude. Yeah, that's, nah, that's not even real food. That's just life, happen. man. That's it's just life. Happen. Automation takes over everything, bro. Right. Everything. But don't think you about- think? Don't you think that it'll create new jobs? Like everyone thought that computers were going to take away all the jobs, but in it reality, is. they created new jobs because now you need people to work the to computers. Work well, yeah, that's why I like- it created it created new jobs for people to act with college degrees who knows how to work on the shit. You know what I'm saying? Or in, mm-hmm. in that aspect. But people that 
don't have anything, who just have a high school, you know what I mean, a uh, degree or whatnot, it's leaving them assed out. That's why minimum wage is being shot up because they need to live too. I just yeah. feel like personally, nobody should be living on minimum wage. Who should be striving for a lot more than just living. You should be. Yeah. I, I think that like it should be a livable wage though. But it's also minimum. You know, you can't be living lavishly. Like, if you're working minimum but what's, wage, like, but what's whatever a the minimum, what's whatever a the livable market, wage? You know, though. whatever the market is. You know, you like, should be able to buy food just fine. And you should be able to, you know, live in a one bedroom apartment by yourself if it's only you on minimum wage and mm. be able to eat. Now, but then poses the question with children: if you have children. Well, then there's government assistance for shit like that. And you know, at, at the I, end of the, we can't take that away because you can't punish kids. Yeah. You know, well, at the end of the day, man, like, if you have a baby that you can't afford, is it stupid? Yes. Are you irresponsible? Yes. Do we want the baby to starve? No. How do we mm. fix it? Do we, we either take the kid from you or we help you raise the kid? I mm. believe Yang's, uh, like, like, as when he laid out his, uh, you know, UBI program, it took an account. So, like, you made a thousand. Everyone was guaranteed a thousand. Mm -hmm. Right. But if you are on other type of like um, EBT or like WIC or any of those programs, whatever money you're getting from there counts toward that thousand. Yeah, it supplements. So like if you're not getting 500 in food stamps plus a thousand dollars a month. Yeah. You would get, you would get, yeah, you would get. So if you got 500 in food stamps, you get another 500 from the UBI. But he's also not shafting people because if you're getting assistance now and it's more than a thousand, you would just be able to keep that. Right, yeah, yeah. you wouldn't have to drop down to the right. thousand for UBI. So, what yeah. do you guys feel about the ho- the whole housing situation, where you know how people get Section Eight and stuff, and there's a lot of discrimination of um, if you have se- mm-hmm. some people, some people pretty much if you have Section Eight, like literally, if you have Section Eight, you, yeah. and you come to try to live in my home, I could just literally deny you. So, Rhode Island's trying to pass a bill saying that's a discrimination, saying you should not be able to turn somebody away because of Section Eight. Personally, I don't have a home. Yeah. But if I if I had a home, I do know for a fact that when somebody has shit for free, they're not going to treat it in the same aspect and the same respect when they earned it. So I should feel like I bought that house. I paid all that money on taxes, et cetera. Mm. I should have the choice to turn somebody away if I want True. to. But Rhode Island is trying to pass a bill that you, sh- you, um, that you don't. I'm right. not you with can't. it. Yeah, I got a quick question. As some what did- you do with the camera? As somebody uh, who has like, so I actually own a four family. A uh, four family. Yeah. So I have. You. Yeah, man. I, so I have. You no, know, what he meant is he um, fathered four kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious. Um, so I've always been told, and I've actually seen it myself because I, in my last, uh, before I had my own place, the people that I used to live with, mm. they had Section Eight, and just like you said, like I feel like it's about getting something for free because they trash the place, they show no respect. They don't give a fuck. They're always fighting with the landlord. Most of them. So you, um, yo, they're like, I don't have the eight dollars. Yeah. You need me to give my eight dollars, girl. But that's the other side. So it's like, <laughs> right? You know, what yeah. people will tell you like, so you, there's two schools of thought, right? So one person will be like, don't ever take them because there's nothing but problems. You know, you get. But some people will say, hey, guaranteed yo, money. guaranteed money, guaranteed the money. money. But do you? But you're paying money to fix all their exactly. shit when they leave. Exactly. That's the real issue. So, as a homeowner, you would say no. You, you yeah. Want the, what is what you you are a homeowner right now? So what would, would you, you take say? somebody with section eight? With, with the main reason was that you bought the property in the first place. If it's mm. just an investment and there's no emotional tie, you don't care. Well, the thing but, with me is I live in one of those apartments, so mm, I think so now at the point is I would probably want to take the the person who seems the quietest. Hey, let's let's. Make this a black and white answer. Mm. If somebody right now wanted to rent an apartment from you with Section Eight, would you say yes or no? Like, r- like right off the rip? No. Okay, no. so you'd say no. Why? Because I, I would try to get somebody who, like the per- who is not. That's, what, that's but that's but this is this is the if you, this right. is the bill. The thing this is, is discrimination. Uh, though. It's so real. basically like this, right? It's also a business, right? So the, the I don't get to tell the state what I'm charging. The state mm-hmm. says this is what the state pays for. This is the going rate for a one bedroom or a two bedroom. So if I can, by all means, I want to get what I can get. Because if you look nine times out of ten, what the state's going to give you is is way less than what you could get from a normal person. Mm. So I'm going to at least attempt. I've never had an issue where I was I had to take someone out of Section Eight because luckily I got exactly. a, I got a big apartment, so I have like three okay. bedrooms. So people are always looking for those, so I can mm. get what I want for them and not have to go through the government. Right. But right. Uh, for your first thought would be no, I wouldn't have a Section 8 tenant. It, it's okay. I'm not saying no, it's, it's, it's not that, that I wouldn't question. have them. You it's not that like, I wouldn't. I, no. It seems like no, you're trying to like no, you're afraid I'm to just, answer it. <laughs> it's just I'm being... On your if, terms, would you have? On my you're terms, yeah. No. Like if you said no. 
No, you see, you're no. What I'm I saying am not is, doing anything, Drew. No. I said, <laughs> no, I said not. black and white. And you were like, oh, you, you answered with a hard no. It depends. It, 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 it depends. depends. How many no. other applicants do I have? Do I have non Section Eight applicants? Yes. Then no. Okay. Mm. So you you. But if I don't, okay. then probably. So you look you know? at a Section Eight applicant as if you had the choice, they wouldn't be your tenant. So if I had the choice, right? Okay. Why? So here he just answered that, Freddie. Give the good. <laughs> Yo, here's my take just, on it, man. I'm just trying to... Because, here's my take on it. Because there's a chance that they... I, I just heard horror stories. Every type because, of... Yep. Uh, Listen, the horror story there's a that stereotype yeah. behind yes, them. Sir. There's a stereo You're stereotyping them, which is... It is what it is. It's, I'm not saying it's wrong mm-hmm. or it's right. It's not it stereotypical, is. though. It's no, it literally is. like if somebody... It's... it's, it's, it's it's everything. If somebody gets also, something for free, are you going to respect it? It's not it? even cool. about so if, that. You so, remember, so I'm that means taking if, less to that. That means them. if a, sing, a single mom comes into your house and says, I'm on food stamps, so I get some food for free. That's different. Why is that food different? Food stamps is different. That's why different. is that different? different? Freddie, you, no, 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 no. Freddy, you just said if you're getting something for free, the mindset is you're not going to value shit as much. with food stamps, you can only spend it on food. Food is, is I clean. take I take Why, people that have a living is oh, money. Hold on, it's hold on. I take so people that so have section a eight. They can take their section eight allowance and spending on something else. No, no. it no. can only be their house. Property. It's only the house. Right. And so it's only prefer, one thing. Yeah, but that's literally. Like, I feel like. Money. Huh. All right. So here's my. But it's, let, it's, let me, it's just housing with food stamps. I mean, I'm it's a food. It's just food. You can't spend on shit unless you. It's housing. You can't spend on anything else. It's just your house. You don't have the right to take that money and buy drugs with it. Mm. Listen, I see what you're trying to say. Okay, right. It, my my thoughts. I'm on not this saying thing is, I wouldn't. I'm okay, saying if, if, I, my if thoughts I can make more, if <laughs> I can make more <laughs> not doing it, then I'm doing that for sure. All right. What if what if it was the same amount of money? Mm, that's see that. What if you had a tenant of, a like, tenant what, here like, that was giving you a thousand dollars a month and a section eight tenant where you were getting a thousand dollars a month? Which mm-hmm. one do you pay? I'm taking the government. So that's I'm that's the this is where it I falls would, into discrimination. I would probably okay. take the, the guarantee. Bill. I would okay. probably take the guarantee. So honestly. you're not discriminating. Here's what I think, Freddie. Personally, is, I'm not taking it. it you're still can, not taking it. I'm still not taking it. It can and be, I'll be discriminated. I don't care. It can be discriminated. However, I feel that as a homeowner, bro, you own that property. You should be able to disqualify anybody the fuck you Thank want from you. living there. Thank you. Because it is your home. That's bro. the problem with and America. I feel the same way. Hold on. I feel the same yes. way about a business, bro. If I bake cakes and you are gay and I don't want to bake you a cake, I'm a dickhead, but I should not have to bake you a cake. But you know what I'm saying? You, but you are fuck. open to I the get backlash. it, bro. I know. Fuck. I, you're open to the backlash, bro, but I don't think yeah. the government has should be able to... You know, force you, mm. especially with something that's creative. Mm. You know, like you're a fucking cake baker and you're going to design this. You know, how can the government mandate how you run your business if you're not, you know, like. I think it's a. That's in, tough. When in you it like that, that's tough. In 2020, it's a bad business move to tell a gay person that's that they not the point, though. I know. Yeah. Yeah. I know that's not it's the bad. point. It's bad. It's stupid. But it's money. The gay people, I'll spend a gay dollar like oh, a regular dollar. Big facts. The motherfuckers that's how spend money. <laughs> works. If you don't like somebody, you don't buy from them. So I think that I think that capitalism will take care of it. The government doesn't need to. I agree. People are not going to buy them. Oh, people gotcha, are not going to buy their cakes because drink, they're discriminating. <laughs> I could drink, bro. I could drink, bro. I mean, my biggest thing is that when you posed that question, man, it really made it really, really fucking tough. Personally, uh, I just feel like, you know, like the biggest thing is like right now, currently, I'm trying to own property in other countries or or in another country because when you own a fucking property in another country, it is fucking yours. The government can't tell you shit. When you're in fucking America, you own fucking a house, they can do whatever the fuck they want, even if you it's pay crazy. all that fucking money. So when you poise, when you pose that question, on. it really... I was like, it's about to fall, man. Yeah. Right, right, right. That's why I moved it all the way on this side. But when you pose that question, I was just like, yo, real talk, it's like, when you own a property here, you don't own that shit. You really don't. You're just paying rent to the government to yeah. own it here. When That's you pay... Wild. When you buy a house in Colombia, Haiti, Dominican, Columbia. whatever, Italy, I'll that is your fucking house. They can't tell you shit. You know what I'm saying? So when I hear shit like that, it's like personally, man, um, you know, we try so much to say that, you know, it, we own this house. No, it's our house. So right, right, we, right. Sh- we, you know what I mean? We could do whatever the fuck we want. In reality, man, we really can't. If I own a house, house in fucking Rica. DR or Colombia, and if I want to be quote unquote discriminate, 
and be like, no, I don't want you here. I'm going to go for somebody That's else. That's what I mean. I just feel you like... You know what I'm saying? The, I feel like know. there's too much red tape in, in the yeah. U.S. It's government. a lot, man. It's fucked That's up. That's why everything is made in China, because they can pollute the air they can fucking not see, that's where i think the government should regulate when it's actually harming people oh, yeah. physically Absolutely. harming not emotionally man because if i say hey no fruitcake i'm not making you this why you can just wear a hurt. gucci mask it's gonna it's gonna, <laughs> yeah. you know, it's gonna hurt your feelings but i'm not you're not actually doing physical damage you know i feel like we we got into this world where we're equating emotional damage to physical harm mm. Fi- you know emotional harm to physical harm you know, and it's it's just not the same. Like, feelings get hurt. Mm. You know, but that's not really doing you know physical damage to anybody. Yeah. Damn, that might be a messed up thing to say. <laughs> now that's like saying, "Yo, you can just mentally abuse somebody, and it's not going to happen." But any to effect. be honest, man, this rape, man, people are pussies, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna sugarcoat that. How shit. How do you people feel about pussies. when people say like you know like man up to men's mental health, man? I where I grew, when I grew up, That's where we grew when up. I we and grew I grew up. up, yeah. But I did, I do believe that it did a a, a disservice a little bit to like our this generation coming up because now there's a lot of. I mean, I'm not gonna shake it. There's a bunch of fucking softies nowadays. So but when think, I grew up, fucking man up was the quote. Yeah. You know what I mean, man the fuck up. My fucking friends man would be like, yo, up, fight man. that person, and and if you lose, you lose. But at least you fucking walk away as a man. and Walk away with some oh, fucking that's not pride. Even where I was going with that, bro. Dude. So you think well, that sorry, I'm just saying that people are trying to have the. I'm just cold. like, oh, mom just said something and hurt your feelings. You're like, yo, fight that motherfucker right now. Like, damn. Yeah. <laughs> shit. No, I'm real talk. Mom, so you think there's a correlation <laughs> like that. people trying to figure out <laughs> men's <laughs> mental health and people being soft? Like, because these kids grow up with the tools. These younger kids, they're growing up with the tools to like know about their emotions at a young age, where I feel like it's men. We never had those tools growing up. You know what? Yeah, you're right. We never. We knew. We never knew yeah. what the fuck it was. So, so that's, who do you think is better off? Our generation that was like just compartmentalizing those emotions mm-hmm. and being like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna keep trucking on," or the youth now that is. That's a tough question. I'm okay with sharing my emotions. I mean, my growing up, emotion is valid, and if I <laughs> and upset, if I'm a, a they it doesn't or matter. A Z or if a Z or is upset, I feel like then as much as we make valid. fun of them, if if the whole world acted like that, what would it be like? Mm. Probably peaceful. If if we peaceful, but I think most people would. I, I think I honestly think the high majority of people would feel like they're biting their tongue because shit is so. And people stupid. would have like the urge to like dissent almost. Yeah, I, I don't think that's a re- like you said earlier, man. Because you got to remember, to that extreme is asking you to deny science, bro, and biology. Mm, yeah, you know, mm. are you just gonna? How long are you gonna bite your tongue? Mm. I personally love the fact of uh, how we grew Yo, Drew, up. What's up with your camera? Why that's you beeping, that's bro? That one. Dude, we're going on for a while, so. Yeah. <laughs> but to be completely honest, I, um, I mean, I respect like all this shit that's happening now, and having a voice, and having a freedom of speech, and being who the fuck you want to be. But being grew, grew, growing up in the '90s and being, carp- you know what I mean, and that shit, it's like I, I, I don't know. I just feel like is this generation is way too fucking mm. soft. You know, that man up. It's like, what happened to the man's man? You know what I'm saying? Mm. Now every it's fucking toxic. person. No, it's, 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 it's too much. Toxic masculinity now. That's why, Dude, that's why it's gone away. Word. It's just fucking. Listen, this masculinity is, is actually a thing in femininity. Femininity? Bless Feminism? You. Whatever Bless you, bro. Bless you. It's, um, I mean, it's a thing. I, I hate when it's it's considered toxic. It's not toxic to want to be a man. Just fucking be a man, you know, It's man. just your, your, it's like an instinct. Yeah. You know, you can't really fight that. Yeah, and then it, 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 it is weird to say, but that's kind of how we grew up. We we grew up to be a protector, be the provider, and just wanting to, you know what I mean, nurture the women. I mean, the woman does enough shit. The women do women. enough nurturing, yeah. so why can't we nurture them? You know what I'm saying? So that. just be that man's man. But nowadays, it's like men want to be nurtured even when they're in their fucking thirties. It's like fuck that, bro. Like man, the fuck up. Nah, I'm thirty. I like being nurtured right now. <laughs> No, I want to be, the, cool. I wanna be the little spoon sometimes. Yeah, you know? absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. In your home, but like you going out in public and being a bitch about shit. Like, I, I just, yeah, th- there's some shit where it's just like, because I feel like it, it's weird, man. Like, where do you draw the line? Like, showing where emotion, is the line? Sure, it is what it is. But at some point, when I think of man up, I think of like, hey, I can continue to be upset and cry over this, or I can find a solution. Because sitting, being upset and crying over something 
is not a it's not proactive. It's not is it? it's not gonna do anything. You would Absolutely. literally just sit and cry forever mm-hmm. and you're relying on somebody to fix something for you. Absolutely. So when I think of manning up, I, I like I use that term with my, my, my sons. Mm. You know? Do you, you think know, that's toxic? No. Toxic. Fuck that. I'm a, I'm a great dad. And if if you Shout don't act you. this way with your son, my son will fuck your son up. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it comes down to. You know? Love it. No, nah, you know, like I'll tell them man up when it comes down to it, but in the sense of Something goes wrong for them, you know, like they fucked up mm. and they want to sit and cry about it. And I'll be like, you know, I'll tell them like, listen, man, you can cry and you can show your emotions. It's fine. You know what I mean? I'll I'll kiss the boo-boo, whatever it is. Mm. But you can cry your whole life away. Crying is not going to act and solve the problem that you have. You know, if, you, mm. if you're upset because your room is a mess, you can sit there and cry forever. Yeah. That room is not going to be clean until you clean it. So you need to man not- up and, and act. You need to yeah. do something. You need to create some action but i feel like that what you're saying is different than just the dismissive yo man up like stop fucking crying man up like yes. there's yeah. definitely context right. behind that which exactly. i think is good i feel like the dialogue is needed and i think that that's like the perfect way to say it yeah you know? well that's i think i don't even think it's just with a man up i think being dismissive of somebody's concerns in any case is a stupid thing it's it's just not a good way to communicate mm-hmm. whether you know it's um husband to wife or father to kid or mother to kid or mm-hmm. even me like you know employee to employee anytime somebody has a concern if you just dismiss it it gives their feelings no value mm. you know like regardless of what it is man That's you right. know like it, you should always address a concern and if they don't like it it is what it is but you know like address it you know like it's valid most of the time unless, absolutely but don't get feelings, like, I'll tell feelings. my kids something stupid to cry about I'm like bro come on you know like I have a 10 year old son if I tell you to clean your room and you're crying about it, like, you should know better by now. Like, this on, is not bro. something to cry about, bro. <laughs> I'm like, you want to act like a pussy, bro? You can cry in there all day. I don't give a damn. <laughs> as long as you, you leave know, that like, motherfucker yeah, is you're, clean. You're not hurt. You're, you know, like, this is nothing to be sad about. Mm-hmm. This is something that you have to do. And it's you're always going to have to do this for your entire life. Mm. You might as well just fucking get used to it and stop crying about it. Right. You know, so if that's considered toxic, then it is what it is, you know? But, right. But in this generation, man, every fucking thing is an excuse, man. It's just weird. It's yeah, look at fucking Deontay Wilder, bro. <laughs> that suit. Anyways, <laughs> man. I don't know. I feel like uh, it's probably time to wrap the shit up, boys. You already know. It's been a yeah, man. We got cameras dying. We're running out of <laughs> right, so, man. Yo, yo, this conversation is crazy. Um, I wanted to ask though before before we go. Absolutely. You um obviously two stupid dogs podcast. If you know our podcast, you know that one. You're hosting a, a show tomorrow? What is that? Is that open to the public or yeah, what? Yeah, I mean, pull up if you can. Absolutely. Yeah. So um, the show is actually our boy, uh, Nice, who's actually a rapper. Um, but he's hosting a... Uh, his, his, it's literally his birthday party. Mm-hmm. But he's having a red carpet. So yep. um, he asked us, Two Stupid Dogs, to actually host it and kind of talk to the... Uh, you know you know how like award yeah, yeah. shows, you know, you go yeah. through the, you know, the yeah. red carpet. So, so oh, Udi that's take, a good idea, bro. Right. So yeah, Udi takes like pictures, that. as you yeah, already yeah, know. Sure. He's, he's actually getting really, really good at that. And, um, and you know, my hosting thing has been taking off. So, exactly. uh, you know, asking questions during the red carpet, people taking pictures and stuff like that. So if you can, pull up, man. It's going to be a vibe. Uh, but it's nice as... Uh, 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 birthday party is going to be at Blake's Tavern in uh, downtown Providence. I don't know the address. It used to be, it was the Warwick at Nilo sure in Warwick, but that. it changed up to uh, Blake's, Blake's Tavern. It's right next to Frisky Fries. So if you're familiar with okay, no, the I Strand, Frisky Fries, dude. You already know. Oh, you don't know Frisky Fries? Ooh, Yo, put your boy on, man. Lord, he, he, he played oh, games. Lord. He played games. Lord. He played games. Lord. Lord. My man Ant, no. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But we're hosting, though. We're hosting that, and we we got so much more coming, man. Um, We're working you on... Ha- doing some shit, man. It looks we're fun. trying, man. We're trying to uh, switch up the... Uh, 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 you know the uh, um, the video, the YouTube, where we're getting um, hats coming up soon. Um, you know, we're doing another live podcast, hopefully in the summer. Um, I'm hosting my own other side pod. We're, we're working, bro. Good we're shit, working, bro. man. We're trying. I'm just glad you guys are back on, bro. <laughs> I mean, I hate to ask this now, but what the fuck happened? Yo, man, the the old host, what the old tech guy, and eh, he just he got involved in you know some shit that. It just didn't work with his life anymore, you know. It okay. was becoming um, like work, you know. It happens. Yeah, yeah it, it happens. Just, it wasn't the right fit, you know. And I, that happens. You know, he was just like, yo, I can't do it anymore, you know. It's not for me. Okay. Um, I just don't have the time. I'm like, all right, you know what, though? This is something I've always wanted to do, so I'm like, 
you're that's gonna what, keep it rocking. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna go on no matter what. You know, like and don't take this the wrong way, but if anybody drops out, I'll just keep doing it and figure Absolutely. it out. Absolutely, I'm a man up. You that's know what it. Man? We're gonna keep that shit that's going. it. Yeah. Uh, so I still love me, still my boy. I still talk to him. It just it wasn't a good fit. It wasn't. And the old tech guy was just you know. Mm. Mm. But we got Ant now. We what got up, boy? We got Ant skinny. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that's why we work it too. I mean, we... And that's why we took a break from the Two Super Dogs podcast because, you know, at the end of the day, this is... You know, we want to treat this as a business. Mm. You know what I mean? I mean, um, though we don't make income just yet, but that's what we're aspiring to. Well, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, so... You got to enjoy... Sorry to cut you off, but... No, absolutely. You got to enjoy it. Absolutely. It's got to be fun. Yes. And then the, the rest will just fall into place naturally. Right. You know what I mean? There's no right. need to rush it. That, right. That's how I think about but it. But I still feel like you still should, should still treat it as a business. Yeah. In a sense. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you want this to take care of itself. You don't want to just keep dumping money exactly, into something. Yeah. And then it's not getting any return. But if it's still going, you know what I mean? But Udi, this is when we did Two Stupid Dogs. It was all his idea. And we've just been pushing for it. But I started seeing some kind of a little bit of hostility. And it's good to take a break when you need it. Because yeah, now that we, well, just because of like the audio was a little off, the video, because Udi takes care of all the video. Oh, yeah, yeah. And he wanted to do video, and I'm like, dude, that's fine. But with Let's everything right, else that though. we're doing, yeah. you know what I mean? You're going to have to step up in that aspect. And he did, 100%. Good shit. And, you know, shout out to him. But that's why that break was needed. And that's why I keep stressing it, whether it's podcast, whether it's any type of business, you have to really kind of recognize where you're falling off. Take that time. And then do it, even though we lost maybe a little few, uh, a, a couple followers, you know, stuff and stuff like back. that. You'll get them back, yeah. but we came back tenfold, and we're right. Yo, you guys are. You know what I'm saying? We right got right opera. Now, you know what I'm saying? We got you know Jody that's being a producer. She's taking care of all sponsorships and and merchandise. Oh, so you guys and, are sponsored then, bro? Yeah, we're working on it. Absolutely. Well, oh, I mean, sure. we already had kind of like I don't want to say it officially, non officially, but Granny Squib always been supporting us in general. But we don't have that official stamp, so that's what yeah. we're working towards with them. Yo, kicking the dollars, we're kicking the name. So <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bro, but but also we drink a lot on the show, so we're really trying to find liquor. You know Sons what I mean? of Liberty, I mean, bro. They're local. That's a local. Sons um, of Liberty. I might that's have a local to spot, them. man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But we talk all the fucking time. You know what I mean? So yeah. if we can do some in-house shit when we all connect and that, do shit together at. and and uh, and and um and all of that. But yeah, we yo, really we push for probably this even shit, put our all. Up. Yeah. Come Anyways, on, yo. Bro. You already know. Thank you. Thanks, man. Obviously, yeah. um. At oh two, yeah, two stupid dogs podcast and dogs and D A W G S podcast on Instagram, Facebook, all of that. Follow us on YouTube. The whole nine. We're working. Bro. Everywhere you'll find the links on this video too, and uh, on the post everywhere, bro. We shout you out, man. You already know. Drew, Freddie. You already know. Aunt Skinny. <laughs> Aunt Skinny. The tank reeking. Three fifteen. You, you wrong, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Both of y'all on. Yeah.